Am I in? I think I'm in. Oh, I forgot to put on music. <laughs> I put on music on my end because it's, it's nice. It's nice to have a little something rather than sitting in silence. Uh, it looks like I'm uh, shaking my ring light. I got a ring light today. And that's fun. Um, all right. Does it look good? I'm live there. Is it live here? I also have realized that I need to double check to make sure this is public. Um, but there we go. Sweet. Uh. All right, cool. I also realized I maybe should not be sharing my stream URL. <laughs> So I'm probably gonna have to go through like past streams <laughs> to make sure that I'm not freaking myself like this is fine to show, but freaking the YouTube one, eesh, alright. But I trust that no one's watching these little beginning parts anyways, and we're gonna get into it. Um, I hope everyone's been having a good, happy freaking Saturday? Saturday, right? Tells you about my sleep schedule. Dude, my sleep schedule's gone. It's gone. It's in the dust. I went to bed at freaking like 6 a.m. It's gone. I tried the Fortnite update and Fortnite was fun to try out. Um, but today we are going to do some scary games. Heck yeah, we're going to do some. We're going to actually start with a game that we've already done before. We're going to do another, uh, a couple rounds of That's Not My Neighbor because this game was super fun to play. Um, and I just enjoy it. And I want to see the different monsters. We didn't really get to see, like, some really scary ones. We saw a person with their head floating around. And I want to see how, uh, how, how well I can do. Plus, it's achievements, and I want to knock them out, too. So why not? So this will be fun. All right. Let me... Pause the music. Uh, record. The first time we played, we got an A. <laughs> But we got an S last time, and I'm expecting an S rank this time. Because there's no way I can get... Unless it gets more difficult, we get more people. Survive 40 playthroughs, get F rank, yeah. Capture 100 doppelgangers. You have to be invested into this game. Kill one neighbor. Survive without opening any folder. See, I would love to try this. Maybe if I'm more... When I get, like, more adept and start remembering people, that's when I'll uh, definitely do it. So, let's... Get into it. We're going to be doing a couple days. Mm. Oh, yeah. And I definitely want to keep on check because these other game modes will be fun. I'm also wondering if I should still do... Um, maybe we'll do a round of that new uh, arcade mode um, that Home Safety Hotline has. That could be fun to do. Falling short for... Okay, we already seen this. I'm ready! I'm ready to do my job! I'm so good at my job. Watch. Just you watch. It's gonna be perfect. No doppelgangers here. Hello! Bye! <laughs> See ya! Same residence, of course. She still creeps me the frick out. Hello! Where's your ID, bro? Already already messing up. Forgot to show my ID. Yep. Uh, okay. Roman Stilnski. Are you in the list? You are in the list. Okay. You look fine. Uh, no. No clown. Uh, Roman Stilnski. 1968. That's right. Roman Stilnski, you are in floor one. Yes, you are. Big nose, scar on right train, long phrase. One eyebrow. Where's a hat? That all looks right. Let's check your numbers. 483924. 48. Wait, what? 48. Three nine two four, four eight three nine two four zero five nine six eight four, zero five nine six eight four. Cool. You're supposed to be gone. Um, resident of the building. My apartment is zero one on the first floor. That's all true. You look good. So yeah. All right. See ya. Easy. Ooh, that was that was a little loud in my ears. Ooh, let's lower that just a little bit. Next. Oh, it's her! It's her! Oh, I hate it! She is on the list, though, so she's not home. 
Uh, where's your freaking entry request? Yeah, that's what I thought. What floor are you on? The second floor, I thought. Gosh, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you so much. Uh, right eye blue, left eye green. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that looks right. Nacha Mica Elis. Nacha Mica Elis. Nacha Mica Elis. That looks right. And Nacha Mica Elis. 789 Okay, you're a chef. Curly hair. She has freckles, round face. Yeah, that, that looks good. Your appearance is good. All that's good. Uh, you are a chef. I just read that. Um, yep, yep. Alright. You look good, too. Right? She looks fine. Don't kill me! Gosh, she's so creepy! Well, we at least know that next time we see her creepy face that it's a no-no. So we knocked out these two people. Hello? Ooh, something's off about you, isn't it? Where's your stuff, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Do you always have eyeshadow? Maybe they do and I just didn't realize it. Okay, which one are you? You're Selene. You're not on the list. Ooh, I'm gonna call. Uh, 6 9 Wait, what, what's your reason why you're... <gasps> Oh my gosh, I'm actually tearing. Oh. Oh. Okay! Okay, I'm gonna call my friends! Okay, I'm gonna call my friends! Ooh, what was that? That's terrifying! Oh my gosh, that actually scared me! You contacted the DDD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you make sure she's like, can you make sure she's dead? Oh my gosh, she freaking terrified. Like, I'm not joking. There are actual tears, like, that immediately, like, formed out of sheer fear. <sighs> hey! Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. You're on the list. Okay. All right, all right. Steven Rudboys. Steven Rudboys. And Steven Red Boys. Okay, Steven. Oh my gosh. Zero three, zero three, yep. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh you're a pilot? That's crazy. You look accurate. Alright, do you have your nineteen sixty six? Oh, alright, calm down, calm down, calm down. Five six five eight four four five five six five eight eight four five four five five nine six five four five five nine six five. Okay, this all looks good. You're not gonna kill me, are you? Ooh, we got an achievement too. What was that for? Wear glasses, short hair, small head. Yeah, he looks good. All right. Have a good one. Jeez, dude. That was terrifying. That was genuinely terrifying. Hey! It's the first guy who killed me. Isaac Goss. Isaac Goss? Isaac Goss? You're on the first floor, right? No. Dude, did you see that doppelganger? Terrifying! Okay, you're on the list, though. 0202. Yep, Isaac uh, Goss. Okay. Uh, four, five, six, nine, eight, five, five. Four, five, six, nine, eight, five, five. One, two, three, six, nine. Ha, ha. One, two, three, six, nine. Ha, ha. So funny. That's, that's the sex number. Big eyebrows. Big smile. Prominent chin. Big nose. Uh, that looks good. Um, so I'll give you a little check mark because you're just... Uh, I am the resident of the building. My apartment is zero two on the second floor. Yeah. Like, I don't understand the reason. It's just a truthful statement, right? As long as he's telling the truth. He looks good. I think so. Alright, see ya! <sighs> Alright, we already know the, what the mood- the mood has been set! Hey! You're on the list! 
Okay. Your nose isn't different today. That's good. That's good to know. Where do you live? You live on the second floor? You do. Okay. Alright, how you doing? Um, Anastacha Micah Elis. Uh, Anastacha Micah Elis. Uh, Anastacha Micah Elis. Okay. 1326985. One, three. Yeah, 1326985. Why am I having a hard time? Uh, 34462. 34462. I think you're fine. 136985. 13269. Yeah, you're fine. I don't know why I'm messing up so bad. Okay, so you tired eyes, so baggy eyes, two point tails, small nose, round face. Uh tired eyes, two point tails. So your ear maybe it's just lighting. Your ear looks a little different. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Reasoning. I live here, whatever. I come home from school, fourth floor. She's a student. What was that? Did anyone hear that? You're good. You're good. Uh, have a have a have a good in. Did I mess up? Did her eye look weird? Was it? Did something happen with her eye? <gasps> Hello. Man, you got big lips. Mia Stone. You're not on the list. <laughs> Okay, so you're not freaking out. What floor do you live? I'm gonna call. Is your nose different? Your nose is different. Oh, you're so. <laughs> your nose is so different. Oh, you're done. Goodbye. Have a beautiful day. Alright. Yep. She, here she has a droopy nose and then the ID she gave me she, and her face she had like a pointed nose thank you all right all right all right so that's two doppelgangers we got now three doppelgangers that we got now I'm not a doppelganger I'm a normal human with normal behavior just let me do my normal human activities <laughs> What? and your IDs expired Wow, that's a sick reasoning. I'm thinking about letting you in, but, um, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, what a weird reasoning. That's interesting. I didn't think those would change at all. I'm glad to see that it changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I, I know. Okay, so we knocked out him, him, her, her and him so we're missing albert dr w and robert we're missing the peaches still uh, um uh, uh you know um you got a little you got a little yeah you got a little all right let's call <laughs> oh, he's got worms on his face what why is he all wormy yeah 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 call it up call it up call it up yep 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 Thank you. Gosh, hurt. Can you hurry up? Can I skip? Yes, thank you. Thank you. You know what? You're so nice. Maybe I should be nicer to you. All right, take care. All right, who's this next one? Hello? Your, oh, sorry, Mike. Your eyes. Your eyes are weird. Uh, 1974. Albertski? Albert Sky Peachman. Albertski Peachman. Oh, uh, Albertski, Peachman. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a shoemaker. Floor one, two, shoemaker. All right, your face is looking good. You know, uh, has a mustache. We know. He has that smile, chin swirl, spiky hair. A smile. Did I say smile? Yeah, he's got a smile. Round nose, eyebrows. Eyebrows messed up for him last time, but I think he's good with that. Uh, let's see, ID. Let's check your ID. 74 146512. 146512. 986 354. 986354. Yep, that's good. All right, your ID is good. Your appearance is good. Entry request looks solid. All right. And you are on today's list. Yeah, you're on today's list. Bye. 
imagine it's like they they like turn into a doppelganger when you let them in. Like they show that they are. Hey, you are on the list too. I don't know. Can you hear my cat? <laughs> Duke is meowing. Uh, 1971, Dr. W. Afton. I hate how your last name's Afton. You're a physicist. You are on the list. W. Afton. W. Afton. I'm resident of the building. My apartment is 01 on the third floor. That is correct. Um, your wife tried coming in. And she wasn't your wife. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Alright. 2504489. 250489 Okay, your ID is good. Your appearance looks good. Let's double check that. Alright, you got a beautiful smile. Small eyebrows, ears, glasses. Small eyebrows, ears, glasses. Hair looks good. Square head, round nose, short hair, wears glasses, robust eyebrows. Yeah, everything looks... He looks good. I don't see any slight changes on that. So his appearance is good entry request looked good didn't talk about his job though but made a truthful statement and he is on today's list all right bye take care have a great night all right so now we're just missing robertski you know you look familiar have i have i seen you before and like did a bee sting your nose you know what i'm just gonna yeah yeah, there you go. Maybe you shouldn't follow up the person that you're doppelganging. You know what I'm saying? Can I get it? There we go. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? I'm starting to appreciate you. Hi, Anna! Welcome in! Sorry for a later stream. Streamed an hour later. Oh, actually, an hour and a half later. <gasps> oh, your face is all melted. You're the third one we've seen today. Dude, you got like tumors and stuff, man. What the? And you have no stuff. Where's your stuff? <laughs> yeah, your ID. What about your entry request? Is it necessary the entry request? <laughs> we are neighbors. You know me. <laughs> I don't need an entry request to get to my home. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. It's okay. I just finished talking to Victor. Aw, hopefully a good conversation. Hopefully he rests well. And hopefully he sees you soon. You contact the double D. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah, much appreciated. All right. Have a good... Uh, yeah. Bye. Okay. All right, come on. Give me more. We're still waiting for Robert Ski. Give me my Robertski. Hey, there he is, Robertski. Robertski Peach Man. Robertski Peach Man, my man. Robertski Peach Man. All right, you live second. Yep, you do. Okay, you have no eyebrows. Big nose, no eyebrows. Goatee. Big nose, no eyebrows. Goatee. Uh, fluffy hair, small ears. Fluffy hair, small ears. Okay. Uh, one one four six five two. One one four six five two, uh two eight nine seven three zero two eight nine seven three zero ninety seven three. Okay, ID is good. Appearance is good. Entry request. Uh, accurate, accurate. I'm a resident of the building. I come from home for my job as a shoemaker. Oh, you both are shoemakers. Nice, very nice. And you are on the list, right? You're on the list. Have a good day. His schedule is crap, but we're trying. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't imagine. Bad schedules suck. Oh. Listen, if you're going to do the same thing that your sister did, Illinois, I ain't really in the mood for it, but okay. Okay, so you're not going to you're not going to freak out into a demon. Let me just call your sister, okay? I'll just let me just six nine nine six it said. Let me just call her. Nine. Oh. Uh, nine. Six. Hey, is this your sister? Hello. Hello, Celine here. Yes, yeah, is, is your sister home? My sister's not home. Okay, that helps. 
Oh, that scared me. Okay, uh, Illinois. All right, let's just treat you like, like a normal lady, as we do. Illinois, uh, severed, severed, severed. Yeah, that, that's the best I'm gonna do. Uh, F104, yep. Okay, ID 845323, 845323, 014 956, 014 956. All right, your ID is solid. Your appearance looks. Appearance looks good. Appearance looks great. Love that. Uh, I made music. I will show you after stream. Oh, yes, please. That sounds like fun, Tyler. Um, is it on today's list? No, but we did call. So, that's it. Bye. At least she didn't demonize. She didn't demonize like her twin sister earlier. All right, is that it? Who are you? What is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else? I don't know, bro. Uh, 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 I don't know. Uh, uh, staying al- Uh, 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 I have no idea what to put for this. What does it mean? This is a very tense answer. Uh, hope. I'm gonna put hope. Hope is a solid answer. Hope. That's not- That's incorrect?! <laughs> Goodbye. What?! What do you mean that's incorrect? That's subjective! Hey! You're not on the list, buddy! Why are we still doing this? We- we kinda, you know, we already went through all this! <laughs> yeah, you're not. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna call your waifu! Look at the list again. I looked, buddy. Okay, I looked. I looked. Don't question me. Don't question what I do. Okay? I looked. You're not on there. I'm calling. Hello? Yes, Gloria, is that your is your husband home? Your husband's not home. Okay, that helps. <gasps> I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate when they end the call because I'm like, they're gonna pop out and kill me. They're gonna break through this bulletproof glass, I'm assuming. Alright, Arnold Schmidt, if that's your real name. Uh, floor two. Arnold Schmidt. Uh, Arnold Schmidt. Okay, F201. That's right. Uh, my apartment is 01 on the second floor. That's, that's right. Um, okay, so 778566, 778566, 219322, 219322. Okay, your ID is good. Your appearance, big nose, wears a hat, round face, yep, yep, lips, ears, eyes, and eyebrows. That all looks good. That all looks good, hopefully. Yeah, your appearance is good. Entry requests, good on today's list? No. But we'll let you in. Don't kill your wife. Is that it? Oh my gosh, it's still going. It shouldn't be going still. Who are you? Uh, you're not on today's list. Unless there's like a back. You're not on today's list, bro. What are we doing here? I'm gonna leave due to an emergency at work. Okay, let's call your waifu. 4258. Uh, four, two, five, eight. Is your husband home? Is that sugar daddy home? Sugar, I'm just, I'm just assuming. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm about to find out if he's back. Thank you. All right. So let. This is my first time investigating this guy. Okay, Alf Capuchin. Alf Capuchin. I love that last name. Alf Capuchin. <laughs> um, lawyer. Big nose. Prominent mustache. Yep, yep. Um, uses a monocle. Wears a hat. Yuppers, yuppers. And round face. Okay, that's solid. Alright, Alf. 1960. Uh, that's good. 120 
5480. 120 5480 96347. 96347. Got it. Alright. Looks good. Looks good. Entry request. Um, I'm the president of the building. 304. Lawyer. Uh, I come from my job as a lawyer. Okay. That's good, but you're not on the list. So I'm actually gonna just put no from now on because I don't know if that does anything for me. I'll put no, but I'm still letting you in. Bye! Why am I still going? Am I gonna die? Did I kill a neighbor? Oh, <gasps> we did it! And we're alive! How did we do? How did we do? Employee, the doppels captured six. Neighbors killed two! And I'm alive! We allowed in none. Sweet. Okay, let's do that. Let's do one more day. We'll do one more day. What achievement did I get? I got something. Oh. Catch a doppelganger red-handed. Oh, see, that's creepy. So they can, like, turn into their doppelganger self. That's cool. All right, sweet. Discover the secret of the universe. How? Meet the peach doppelganger. I have no idea. Uh, get F Frank. Okay, all right, all right. Let's do one more day, and then we're going to switch to a game that we haven't really tried yet. But it looks really interesting, and they just released an act two, so I kind of want to catch up on that. Um, alright, let's just play. Oh yeah, we might do home safety hotline arcade mode, just to see how that is. Ah, no, I don't need to see this. Come on now. I'm experienced! Give me, give me, give me going. Give me going. I need a speed run of this. Hey, how you doing? Bye. See ya. Go get a coffee. Maybe a donut, too. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I hate it! His mouth is so big! <laughs> no! Peach, 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 peach! Is it all just peach? Peach, 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 peach. Let him through? I'm not letting this man through! He's gonna kill me! Uh, no, I think it's- I think he's clearly safe. Uh, yeah, he's so safe. You know what? I would give this guy a big old sweet, nice sound, uh, you know. Jail. He's going to jail. No. Mm -mm. I love it. He's great. I'm sorry, Peek, that you had to see that. I ain't doing that. How dare <laughs> You will cry. We'll start getting the tissues, baby, because he's going to jail. That was creepy. So that's the peach doppelganger. Cool. We knocked out two achievies. All right. Hit me up. Give me someone who's actually normal, please. This is our first time seeing you. You live with the pilot. Where the frick is your entry request? Gosh, he looks angry. Um, McClue Red Boys. You're on the list. Um, let's just put that there. McClue Red Boys. McClue Red Boys. And McClue Red Boys. 964516. Uh, 964516. It's up to date, too. 184611. 184611. What if he's just a little, he's just a little guy? Just a little peachy guy? Yeah, I'm sure. Um, okay, let's look at... The image of the ID looks exactly the same to the... That. Okay, so let's just see if we can spot the difference here. No, that looks good. Looks good. Wrinkles. Yep, yep. Face shape. Yeah. Yeah, he looks good. Okay, ID is good. Appearance is good. Entry request. Uh, I'm a resident of the building. I come home from doing the shopping. <laughs> The shopping! Yes, as we all do. We all love to do the shopping. There's nothing wrong with that statement. Is there? The shopping? He's retired. I let him in, but but he's like retired, so I just didn't see any anything for it. Alright, who's next? <gasps> it's you! Look! Listen, some guy came in here earlier. Uh 
I don't leave. It's an emergency at work. Is your brother home? Your brother should be home. And you don't even have your ID, bro. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Give it, give it all here. All right. Uh, two six six eight. <laughs> Peach. <laughs> uh, is your brother gonna say that you're home? I bet he isn't, cause this is the second time we see this guy. Hello. Is your brother home? Hi, Albert. Ski. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what I was expecting. All right, um, so let's see. Let's get all this information. All right, let's see. How do you... There we go. Small eyes, big nose, uh, goatee, small eyes, big nose, goatee, unsmile, ears. All right, that looks good. 11465, 11465, 228 We still have not seen the ID numbers change, but I'm still checking it. What if the brother hit his head and you killed the actual brother? I did not kill the actual brother. He's fine. They're fine. I didn't let a robber in yet because then there's no one home. And he has a long neck. Long neck. I would assume that neck's long because there's no stopping. Uh, floor two. Resident building. Come from a job as a shoemaker. As you do. Okay. All this looks good. You just weren't on today's list. So bye. Don't kill your brother. Did you ask the brother if his brother liked peaches? No. Maybe I should do that next time. <laughs> Gosh, you're so creepy. And I think you're normal. Margaret Bubbles. Love that last name. Margaret Bubbles. Margaret Bubbles. Uh, what floor do you live in, Margaret? Miss Bubbles. You live... Alone. Oh, you live alone too. Which means uh, I don't have anyone to call. Curly hair. Deviated left eye. Yep. Brown nose, big smile. Yeah, that's a big smile, all right. Uh, one zero three two six eight zero. One zero three two six eight zero. One four five nine zero. One four five nine zero. Seventy five. Okay. ID is good. Appearance is good. Uh, bubbles F two zero three. Yep. Uh, I resident for the building. Went out for my job as a seamstress. Okay. And you are on the list. There you go. Have a good one. Gosh, you're creepy. Ooh. Ever think about like smiling less? Like a little, like, a little less, just a little less. Hey, hey, Ooh. look at that! You don't have worms on your face. Congratulations, Angus Cipriani. Angus Cipriani. Angus Cipriani. Angus Cipriani. What floor do you live in, Angus? What what floor? Floor one. Ah, you live alone too. Great. Um, Angus Cipriani. Okay. Five six five zero zero three six nine. Uh five six five zero zero three six nine eight eight four five. Eight eight four five. Cool. Businessman. Uh pointy nose. Does that I'm just does that does this match? Looks like it matches. Okay, so let's uh, double check. Eyebrows, this, that, uh where's the hat? Yep, long eye. Okay. That all looks good. ID appearance looks good. Let me check. Yep, ID. Uh, I'm resident of the building. I come from my job as a businessman. This guy is good. This guy is solid. <laughs> Bye. I'm gonna start smiling like her. <laughs> Just. <laughs> I'm so happy. Life is good. Oh. Good afternoon, ma'am. You are gorgeous. Did you? Her photo does not help her because she looks way skinnier. Here. Um, okay. Uh, Gloria Schmidt. Uh, Gloria Schmidt. Uh, Gloria Schmidt. Are you on the list? Gloria. You're on the list. You had to leave due to an emergency at work. Well, let's see what your husband has to say about that. Is your husband home? He should be. Uh, I'm gonna call your man. 5123. 5122. What's your husband gonna say about this, huh, Gloria? Yeah, Arnold, Arnold, is this your wife? Is your wife home? Your wife's not at home. All right, thank you. All right. I guess I'll examine her. Okay, let's see. Uh, round face, mole on the right cheek. Yes, yes. Short hair, round nose. Short hair, yep. And round nose. Okay, so she looks good. 
74. Yep. Uh, Gloria Schmidt looks good. 6985223. Okay. ID and appearance looks good. Entry request. Uh, you're a banker. Okay. F1. Okay. I'm a resident of the building. I come from a job as a banker. That's truthful, but you're not on today's list. So, uh, yeah. Have a good one. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. Anyone else? Who coming to bother me, huh? It's you again. What am I supposed to say to you? What's the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else? Peach. Peach. That's the answer. Peach. Peach. That's incorrect. What am I supposed to say to you? Goodbye. What's the point? What do I say to you, DDD? Doppelgang? I don't know him. Are you on the list? You are. W. Afton, F301. Sweet. You don't have much about you. Robust eyebrows. Are they really robust? Um, wears glasses, short hair, round nose, square head. Wears glasses. What did it say? Short hair, round nose, short hair, round nose. Yeah, that all looks accurate. Okay. Let's look at you. 71, that looks good. Afton, um, 250489. 250489. Six five, uh, six five six two one four, six five six two one four. Okay, your ID is solid, good. Um, uh, entry request. I'm the rest of the building. I come from home for my job as a physicist. Three zero one. That looks good. And you're on today's list, right? You're on today's list. You are. Oh, look at that. Don't you just love it when people like actually do the right thing? <sighs> Hello? Oh, it's you. No tumors? No tumors for today? Alright, are you on the list? You are on the list. Okay. 68, Roman Stilled Sky. Roman Stilled Sky. Yeah, Roman Stilled Sky. Uh, as a public accountant? <laughs> Look what I can do. <laughs> You're highlighting your messages. Uh... Public accountant. That's a small detail, and I'm gonna believe that this guy's a doppelganger. A public accountant? I don't think I've ever seen his stuff as public accountant. Bye! Help, police. Can you just like give me a shotgun? I can handle this on my own. Just just give me a shotgun. Give me some guy in the corner that can clean it up at the end. Easy. I don't need to be calling you guys every single time. Just give me like a knife. Give me like acid spray. They'll run. Don't worry. Continue to do my job. Thank you. Put a trap door underneath them. Then I could just hit a button. And bah! That's what they could do. They could fall. It's you again! Hey! How you doing? Little airheaded, I see. Little airheaded. I'm just gonna... Yeah. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, I just called. There's another one. Did you not see them outside the building when you were leaving? Yeah, yeah, thank you. See what I'm saying? Trapdoor makes it so much easier. Continue my job. Alright, thank you. Much appreciated. We love that. Thank you. Oh! Hey! Just saw you. Not airheaded, huh? Got your head on your shoulders this time. Smart. Where do you live? There you are. Okay. You're not on the list, though. No, the twins are on the list. You're not on the list. And where's your entry permit? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And you're not on the list. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It almost hit unlock. I didn't even do that. <laughs> Had to leave due to an emergency at work. Uh, let's see what your husband says about that. One, four, two, five. I'm assuming that he's gonna say that you're not home because two of them at the same time kind of proves it out. Hello? Is your wife home? Are y'all freaking? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I hate that. I hate the long freaking pauses between like, yeah, me and my fiance are home. 
And I'm like worried that like the doppelganger hears it and then she's gonna go all demon mode. You contacted the triple D. Yep, thank you. Three in a row, man. Three in a row. Give me some peace. Thank you. Have a good in. Alright, door's locked. Triple D's nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. Nice. Bro! I'm I'm so confused at this point. Is she even a teacher? Why why three of these? I already called. I already called. He, he said that his fiance and him are home. Not expecting anyone. Where are they getting with this? Goodbye. Yep. Another one. That's so weird. You're finna get boy who cried wolf. I know, right? I'm just calling them back to back to back. Hey, there's another one. And another one. No, wait, no, there's another one. These guys need to, like, examine. Where's your entry request? I'm tired of you people. All right, and I know you're not on the list, okay? I already know you're not, but all right. All right, can we move on? Who are you? Which one are you? Illinois. Animal Illinois Subversed. Uh, Illinois Subversed. Illinois Subversed. All right, all right. Let's take a minute. Um, Illinois. Literally, mole on left cheek. Accurate. Okay. Small pointed nose. Slim. Long neck. Has a twin. Small pointed nose. Slim. Ha long neck? Long neck. Has a twin. All right. Looks good. 80. Good. Uh, eight four five three two three eight four five three two three zero one four nine five six zero one four nine five six. That looks good. Your ID is good. Appearance is good. Entry request. Let's read it. Uh, F one zero four. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a model. Yep. Believable. All right. Um, entry request. Is it on today's list? Yes. Also, what's with the it? I guess because you can't. I mean, you could just say, are they? Are they on today's list? I don't know. Well, is it? It's like. Singular. I get it. All right, bye. Ooh, a clever way to hide the doppelganger. It's like imagine like you have to watch them talk, and then you see like something messed up in their mouth. Hey, you're not on today's list. I'm tired of everyone not being on today's list. Genuinely tired of it. Yeah, I gotta call your wife now. Okay, you're causing problems. Gotta call the wife. Five one two three. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna check again. I already saw it. Five. One, two, three. Not on the list, bro. It's not that hard. Uh, wifey. Gloria. Hey, is your man home? Mm. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I got. Yeah. Let me just. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm choking. Oh, that went up my nose. Ooh, that went up my nose. All right. Yeah, another one. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Ooh, that went up my nose. Hey. Yeah, thank you. Much appreciated. Yep. What do you look like under there? Are you a doppelganger? Are they a doppelganger of me? Hmm? We barely made it through this list. We got Illinois. Celine. All right, we we did Illinois, so Celine is definitely next up. Ah, uh, do you do you even look like you do? Right, pointed nose, eyes closed, big old big old model lips. You know what I'm saying? Just big big lips. All right, eighty Celine Shavershed, uh, Celine Shavershed, and Celine's first F one zero four F one zero four. Cool. All right, that looks good. Uh, seven eight five six one three two, seven eight five six one three two, six nine five one four six nine five one four. Okay, ID looks good. Appearance looks good. Entry request looks good because I think it said that she was a model. Yup. Uh, and the picture looks good too. I don't know if I really need to pay attention to this picture. I always think it's like just similar to the ID. And model. Yep. 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 Wait, mole, mole, mole. Mole's on the right side. Gotta keep track of that mole. Mole, 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 mole. Bye! Hey! 
Doki. That's it? How many doppelgangers did we get? F five! What? So I did kill a neighbor. Oh, I didn't allow anyone in, but I killed someone. Okay. Well, you know, um, could be worse. I could have let someone in. Dang, I was so confident too. Kill one neighbor. Oh, who did I kill? Oh no, I should have looked at the stats. It would have told me who I killed. Oh no. Oh well, I should have totally looked at the stats when I could. Dang. Well, that was fun. That song my neighbor is really good. It's really good. I, uh, I definitely want to keep trying this. Trypophobia. We haven't really encountered a lot of things with trypophobia in it. Sweet! Okay, so the plan is... Um, uh, let's see. I think I want to try... There was one of these games I want to try. I think I want to try Point Click Killer. Yeah, this looks good. You've been driving all day and can barely keep your eyes open. When you finally see the lights to a motel, maybe they will have vacancy. Maybe we'll get more than what you bargained for. Uh, point click clicker is a horror point click and gory game. Yeah, I want to try this because they just came out with uh, Act 2. Um, and we'll definitely do Act 2 next time. On Tuesday, mayhaps. But this looks really good. This looks really, really cool. So let's do that. Uh... Point click. Wait, it's not typing. Point click killer. Sweet. And then I'm gonna pull up my tubes. You. Uh, I don't even know if it'll have it on here. Point click. Will it have it on here? Man, that's some tense music. Alright, sweet. Let's get into it. Is it too loud? Oh, that's looking loud. That's looking loud. Let's let's lower that. Um, hold on, let me see. Alright. Point click killer. Use equip. Okay. Look and skip. Okay. Uh, speech, subtitles. No, I want both. Give me both. Oh my gosh. Less talking for me? Yes, please. Anything with for that. Alright, let's start. Point click Australia. 1978, it said? Eight hours on the road and I couldn't keep my eyes open. Dang, you can't do eight hours? That's when I saw the motel sign and decided to stop for the night. Oh, point mo moint mo tell point moint twelve. The person at reception seems overly excited to see you. What is this? Your first time seeing a girl, bro? Come on now, get a hold of yourself. Hello. Well, evening, sweetheart. Welcome to the point click. You lost. Uh, no. I'm looking for a room for the night, please. Sure thing! Room 13 is available. Here's the key. You could pay me in the morning. Well, that's very nice. Didn't I just... Well, I guess there's no speech in subtitles. Well, that's fine. Alright, that's our stuff. <gasps> the key! Ooh, I love how the game looks. Thanks, have a good night. Have a good in. Oh, that's us! Wow, we look so <laughs> weird. I don't know, we just look really weird. Uh, Let's hover our mouse around. So that's room 11. We're room 13. Can we, like, knock? You don't see anything. Okay, you don't see anything. Do I have to walk? Oh, 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 we, oh, we walking. All right, maybe that's, maybe there actually is nothing. It's nothing interesting. All right. All right, I get it. It's actually nothing. Got it, got it, got it, got it. You don't see anything. Let's use our key. Our key. Ooh. That's so loud! <laughs> it's actually quite a nice room. Hopefully I can get a good night's sleep. Yeah, hopefully. This room does look 
actually quite nice. It's nothing interesting. Wow. Wow. Wow, this bathroom actually looks so nice. An old rug. Damp and musty. Corner is lifted slightly. Huh? Oh! Maintenance manhole. Whoa. We're gorgeous. Oh. Why is it creepy? Oh, it's going to get scared. What are we doing? My eyes look so different in this light. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. What happened? I think I blacked out for a while there. I really need to go to bed. Yeah, I black out uh, when I look in the mirror too. Can we take, can we take potty? The toilet isn't the scariest thing in the motel, but it's pretty close. What's wrong with toilet? Oh, germs. Forget. Maintenance manhole. Don't really feel like crawling around down there. Well, why not? Maintenance manhole. Let's lead underneath the motel. Alright, so there's just a hole that leads to our bedroom. That's always nice. Small television. Anything good? No. Alright, nothing's good. Alright, got it. Uh, and that's our door out. Anything here? Comfortable looking bed. Got it. Let's eat. You slip thankfully into a deep sleep. Night night. Uh, a piercing scream from outside startles you awake. What on earth is going on out there? <laughs> Yay! Is that a ghost? Oh my gosh, someone's been stabbed to death. Are we gonna go out there? I better call the police before the killer escapes. What? Wow, what a first night! <gasps> Ooh! Whoever was outside now is trying to get into your room. You need to try and escape and hide. Okay, 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 go move, 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 move. They broke the front door. I think they're trying, they're in my room. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Open the main door. Yep, go in. Go, 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 go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey! It's a massacre! Yeah, it is! Oh, I need to get out of here. <laughs> what the frick? Ain't no way. A lunatic is on a rampage. I need to get to a police station. This escalated so quickly. Wait, can we go back in the room? Oh, shoot. I should have freaking checked. It's locked. I'm not going back into my room for a key. Hotwire it. Wait, no, 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 no. We can actually go back in. I wasn't thinking. Wait, hold on. Are we gonna die? <gasps> a key. Is this my car? Oh, so this is real. Is this not a dream? We fell asleep and we just woke up. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. All right, we have our key. Uh, why does he have our key, by the way? Oh, maybe it's not our key. So red car. You can't use that. So why does he have my car key? You can't use that. Am I choosing the wrong key? It's nothing interesting. Uh. Help! Help! Oh, thank God. The police! Officer, help me! Are they gonna say she's Delulu? Hey, officer! Hey! Woo! Freeze! Get your hands up! Officer, help! There's a killer chasing me! Oh, no. All right, stay calm. Where is this killer now? Behind him? It is a ghost! Oh. Don't get near him! <gasps> what? <laughs> I told you the killer was behind you. So we are just psycho? What? I'm so confused. Hey, car 42. You just get back from the motel. Anything going on? Nothing out of the ordinary. It was all quiet. Dang. It's always quiet out there. 
Oh, dead quiet. That's it. Oh, that was so quick. Oh my gosh. Wait, hold on. I want to get immediately into Act Two then. Made in five days. Act Two coming soon. Act Two's out. Oh! That was cool. That was so quick though. That gave so much vibes of a freaking old game I played. Oh, I wish I remember what it was called. It's like you're some sort of like alien demon thing and like you just try your best to like try to kill everyone around you and seem innocent. Oh. That was really good. Round of applause for that one. Okay, so I'm assuming I'm just gonna... Yep. <laughs> so act two, act two, act two, act two. I have it in my collections, I think. Or maybe I could just view all of his games. There it is. Yeah, we'll just download this one right away. Oh, is this one where like you're a detective? Detective Clark is on the case and hunting the serial killer from the first point click killer game of the series. Can you track down the killer? Nice! Yeah, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Take me down, take me down. Let's... Is it downloading? Install! Install! It shouldn't take that long. Yeah, literally two seconds. <laughs> cool, let's try it. This actually is super fun. I wasn't expecting it to be it's so quick though. All right, here we go. Point, click, killer. It's gonna show the body. Yep, there he is. Speech and subtitles. It didn't do any speech, but it'll be fine. Click start. Point, click, Australia, 1976. Oh, not 5-6. Hello? An old lady had stumbled on the body of Officer Grimes early this morning. Grimes? Rick Grimes? More bodies were located inside the motel shortly afterwards. A crime scene was quickly established. Yeah. Big old crime. More bodies were- Oh, I already read that. Oopsies. A few miles away, you were just starting to wake up after a long night at the office. We kinda- we a little handsome, I ain't gonna lie. We a little- we a little cutie. Hello. Your emergency pager starts to beep frantically. Yeah, let's wake up. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Murder motel. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. You get up and into your clothes uh, quickly. 187 is code for a major murder investigation. Nice. Dang, we live in a good place. I'd sit on him. Anna! <laughs> You're with a man. Be loyal. Uh. Aw, oh, we can't mess with our toilet or our mirror. Aw, oh, what is this? I already hate this game. Uh, let's get our beeper. Sweet. Uh, anything else we can get? Dude, we live in such a nice place. Look at the, all this art, too. Uh, front door. Detective tools. Nice. We got our tools. All right, let's see. Wow, we live in such like a peaceful place. And let's talk to the old lady. It's an old fashioned lantern. How far out can we walk? Nope, that far. All right, got it. And I'm, good morning, Steven. Good morning. Joanne across the street waves to you. Lovely old lady, but a little nosy. <laughs> Aren't we all? Morning, Joanne. Let's talk to her. Oh, we can't. I'll just get up right in your face. Good morning, Joanne! How you doing? Murder! Ever heard of it? Murder! Bye! Oh! Well, oh, that, that was a car- Oh, oh, that car is just crashing into all of them. Oh, what's happening with this car? Okay. Oh! Oh, wait! I wasn't- <laughs> I didn't know we were driving! Oh, so where's the motel? Ah, that's cool. I didn't realize. Yeah, let's drive. That's us. Wee. Yeah, we're crashing into the cars now. Wee. Sweet. Ah. 
And there he is. Rick Grimes. Poor soul. And we can't talk to any of the other officers, it looks like. Thank God you're here, sir. Yeah, I played L.A. Noir. We're keeping the public and media well away for now. Reasonable. Let us know if there's anything we can do to help catch this psycho. But, like, it's a ghost, right? Oh, good. You blurred the body for me. It's a ghost. So, like, the ghost haunted us and then we, like, went rogue. I don't get it. I don't get it. Clean stab wound to the neck area. Likely made by a sharp kitchen knife. Okay. The murderer took the victim's clothes as well as his car, so likely posing as a police officer. Yes, they are. The murderer took the victim's boots, which means their feet were likely the same size. About- We have a size 9 foot? Man, our girl was gorgeous and big. No sign of the murder weapon anywhere in the vicinity. Yeah. Not much we can go off of. Um, and then we can go into the rooms. I wonder, can we go into the under shaft too? We'll see. But like, how did we do all this? It has to be some sort of ghost thing, right? Alright, blood. Hey, let's look at the TV. Alright, alright. Uh, body. Motel guest has been stabbed multiple times, somehow strung from the ceiling. Yeah. Uh... Okay, so that's the same thing for him. Man, it is bloody. Oh, and this one's worse. Okay, so we can go in there. Sink is full of blood. Toilet doesn't look like it's been touched. Yeah, no one likes the toilet, apparently. But the sink, the sink hasn't been used. But it's full of blood. The mirror doesn't have any useful fingerprints on it. Oh, uh, the window. Our, at our place, they touched the window. More victor victims laid scattered in the bathtub. Carefully assessing, these victims reveal more stab wounds, but no new evidence. Okay, so let's go- the, I go the police to crawl around down here there later. Oh, we're not getting involved. Got it. So let's go into the room where we originally were, because that had a handprint. At the window. Right? Yeah! No fingerprints. The person who left this bloody handprint was wearing gloves. Oh, we got the car key, comfortable looking bed, small television. Nothing in the bathroom, right? Nope, there's the hatch. What are you going to say about it this time? You opened it. Uh, okay, nothing there. Sink. Mirror. Okay. So maybe we now we go to her car and see if there's anything there. Because red car... Hmm. It's locked. Could force it, but the key might be here somewhere. Yeah, I have the key. I got the key. Okay, glove box, letter. It's a letter from Vanessa Smith. No address. Uh, I need to get some more details on Vanessa. No, you don't. <laughs> Not me. Not me, please. Uh, nothing else? Center console. There's nothing in the center console. Not even a crumb. Dang, she kept her car clean. Fingerprints on the mirror. You don't must be wearing gloves. Oh, so she just was the killer. Maybe we can go to the front desk and interview the guy. Need to pay a visit to the police station to get more answers. Can we pay a visit to the um room ten? Wait, can we go in these separate rooms? It's locked. No. I wanted where can we go into check in? And then let's look at a uh, red car real quick. It's locked. Alright, no check-in. Can't mess with red car for some reason. So let's just go... Let's just get Anil out. Officer, what are you doing in my car? I'm not a suspect, officer! You don't need to do that to me! Police station. If I were a police station, I would be a blue... Building. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wait, what's that point of interest? Maybe later? Police station. There we go. Oh, not far out. Here we are. Oh, <gasps> is that her? Wait a minute, is that her? I just realized. 
Was that her? Are we... Are we going? Can we chase? Excuse me, sir? Ha! Huh. Yes, how can I help? Oh, I don't need any help. Detective Clark, you do. <gasps> oh! I didn't realize what she was saying. Now let's get back to your new home, shall we? Oh, if you enjoyed it, please support within the- Ah! She was saying, no, I don't, Detective Clark, do you. Or you do. Ah, that's good! That was so quick! That was so freaking quick! But it's so good, it just gets you right in. It's such a cliffhanger! Dang, I like it. I do not like this creepy background, though. Jeez. Oh. Kill them all. Sweet! Man, that was so good! Do they ever plan on making, like, a third one? It's just so quick. So right to it. That's sweet. Wait, you could have gone in? Is there, like, different endings? I missed all this! Wait! Is there, like... Let me look back at the first game. Is there, like, a way where, like, you're not... Maybe not supposed to interact with her at, the cer at a certain point? I think the first one was meant to be that short. I can't even find it anymore. I think the first one was meant to be that short. I think. If I look at, like, someone's video... Eight minutes. Like I said, if this gets ten... Yeah, I think so. But maybe the second one, I wasn't supposed to, like, intervene? Oh, I'm gonna try again. And see. Because there's obviously more to it. So maybe there's just different endings. Alright, come on. Speed it up here. I already know what to do. Because we got our detective tools. We got our lantern. We got all these things, but we didn't... It was probably because we followed her. And then she had nothing else to do but just to kill us. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aw, look at us. So handsome. We don't deserve to die. Ba -ba -da -da, ba -ba -da -da. Murder motel! Yes, 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 yes. And we didn't really get any clues. Get our beeper. Alright, uh, there was nothing here. Our detective tools were here. Here. And then get our lantern. And then just go. Yep. Alright, there we go. Good morning, Steven! So cute. Bye, old lady! I won't die this time. Hopefully. Let me actually... What? Didn't freaking change it. There we go. Okay, yep, 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 yep. So let's just investigate him, look at the bodies, and maybe that'll be like enough. Oh no, the car too. Okay, let's go her room. Cause it, it, I just maybe maybe I just messed up and I followed her because I knew it was her. Should just let her walked away. There we go. Open this up for some reason. There we go. And then let's just look at the other bodies and then the car. Gosh, it's so vile. Okay. In here. Look at him. Look at him. Wait, what? Oh. Also, is he missing his legs? He's just splattered in blood, dude. Alright, we got the key. Go in this car. And then that's it, right? Then we can head over to the police station. 
this. All right. Oh, can we read the letter, by the way? No. Okay. All right, that's it. And then you say, police station? Yes. Okay. So let's not follow her in. Also, she knows who we are, which is scary. Uh, here we go. All right, let's not follow her. She also changed into her dress when she stabs for some reason. Hey! Hey! All right, let's leave her alone. Sweet. Let's go inside. Yeah! There we go. Sweet! Okay, now we're in somewhere new. Clerk, hello! Hi, officer. I'm Detective Clark. I have a few questions I'm hoping you can help me with. Sure thing. Uh, you notice anyone around here acting suspicious? Can I get an address for Vanessa Smith? Uh, sure thing. One second. Okay, here we go. There are three on record. One deceased, one moved overseas, and the other is right here in point click. 14 Megan Street. Excellent. I'll head over there after I'm finished here. Uh, you notice anyone suspicious around here? I know it sounds ridiculous, but have you seen any police officers coming through here acting suspiciously? No, sir. I watch all the comings and goings, and I haven't seen anyone out of the ordinary. Sorry. Alright, and then have you- have there been a lot of murders in Point Click? Kind of new to the Point Click. Have I, there been any murders like the ones at the motel before? Sorry to tell you. I've lived here my whole life, and I haven't seen anything like this before. What is that thumping? There has been lots of reports recently of missing people, though. Thanks for your time. Anytime, detective. Happy to help. Sweet. What is this thumping? My goodness. Oh, it's the gun range. Uh, yeah, let me get in on this. Ready? Oh! Oh, I have to shoot just that one. Oh! Oh! And a bow! Oh, whoever's gonna mess with me is going to be dead. Ooh! Ooh! Uh. Detective Clark! Your range performance was genuinely good. Your tactical choices were strategic, and you demonstrated a good understanding of a target priority. However, under stress, there were moments where your reactions seemed a bit rushed. Work on maintaining composure in high-pressure situations. Thanks, Instructor. It's a work in progress. Wait. Is that guy actually just testing me? Hold on. What happens if I try- Okay, I'm gonna actually try doing really well. Okay. Boom. Then... Boom. Oh. I did it. Okay. I did a better score. Hey, excellent. Your performance was solid. Your marksmanship skills were commend commendable with consistent accuracy and a tight shot grouping. Well done. Thanks, instructor. See you next time. Heck yeah, man. That's so good. All right, let's go to that Addy and see what happens. And avoid Lady, wherever she is. Okay, where is that going to be? Am I going to really have to, like, hover through all these houses? Megan Street. Something, something, Megan. That's just not even, like, a street thing. I'm just going to have to, like... <gasps> Vanessa Smith's house. There we go. Oh, <gasps> she's there, dude. Wait, do we go in? She's freaking there. Wait, do we go in? Oh, man, I don't know. She's there. Are we gonna die? Also, she is like a freaking haunted. Doors unlocked and slightly ajar. Hello, anyone home? I can't see my hand in front of my face. I need a light before I go any further. Point click police. Anyone here? We got a lantern. Oh no. Do we follow the blood? Or do we go in the basement? I think we go upstairs. Gosh, I wish there was like a save. Okay, maybe we- wait. Oh, code. Okay, 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 okay. We need a code, we need a code, we need a code. Got it, got it, got it. So maybe now we, we do definitely go upstairs. Hello? Oh no! 
No, what is that? <gasps> Jesus! Kill them all. Creepy mannequin stands thre threateningly in the darkness. Yeah, what the frick? Five four four five five four four five five four four five five four four five. That's what we saw in the credits. Five. Wait, was it five four five five? Yep. Oh, dude. What? Gosh, dang it! Oh no. Someone there. Oh! The door's locked. You're trapped down here for now. Ah, oh, no! Oh, is that a rat head? Oh, that's someone's head! Oh my gosh, Joanne! Is that you? Hang on, I'll find something to help you get out of there. Is that our neighbor? Oh, no! Oh, we got detective tools now? What happened to our tools? Here, you want my paper? You want my letter? Okay. Aw, uh, what am I gonna do? It's just her head! Drawer. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> ah, my head. What the hell happened? Hello? Is anyone there? Dude, we're trapped? An old coin. An old coin was hidden at the back of the shelf. Okay. A toilet! Something interesting around the toilet. A uh, pole screwed into the wall for support. It is firmly held to the wall with a serious looking screw. Okay, so we could definitely use the coin on that. Let me just... Dude, there's so much more to it. It won't budge. Alright, let's use our coin. Using the coin on the screw, the pole is freed from the wall. Yeah, now what? Now... Now what? With the right leverage and the proper application of strength... Oh, we're big braining it! Do it! Wedge it open! Bingo! They should put that in a <laughs> they should put that in a movie one day. How many what? Oh my gosh, how many people have been here? Time to find a way out of this hole fast and call for help before the killer returns. There's someone crying, dude. Okay, okay, uh up Oh Dude! <gasps> Oh my gosh. Padlock metal door? All oh, these are padlocked. There's no way to break a lock on this door. Uh what am I Oh, small boxes. Can I climb? There's enough food and water here to last everyone at least a month. Dude, there's so many people here. There's no way to break the lock on this door. Okay, oh, uh, what's the game plan then? Okay, that's the cell that we were in. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, there's not... Distant footsteps uh, song. It sounds like she's coming back. I need to hide. Hide in here! Hide in the boxes? Where do I hide? Oh, large empty! Hide, 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 hide! Hide, hide, hide! You quickly climb into one of the large boxes and try to stay silent. <laughs> What? No, I'm keeping him alive with the others. Oh, is she like fighting with herself? But I don't want to kill him yet. Why do you? No, you're wrong. They're my living dolls. Ooh! Oh, shoot. How did you get out? Where have you gone, you rat? Oh, she's fast! Yes, yes, I agree. When we find him, we'll kill him. Oh, are you gonna leave it open at least? She's not. Ain't no way. Oh my gosh. She's insane. I need to get help. Okay, so now are we going up? Police station. Police station, right? Home or police station? Telephone booth. Oh. We were up there? 
Oh my gosh, I thought we were still in the house. I found both finally. It's time to call some support. Is this gonna work? Uh, no. Excuse me, sir. Yes, how can I help? Don't trust her! No! Oh, I don't need help. No! <laughs> now let's get back to you. Let's get you back to your new home, shall we? Oh, no! Is there another way? Oh, Frank! Is there another way? Maybe there's like. Oh, I kind of want to check. Oh, but that's gonna take so long, dude. That's gonna take so freaking long. Um, let me see. Where can I look? My library. Point click clear act two. There has to be like a way where you escape. Let's see. I mean, I just. So, like, this person did it. And then. What, died at following that person? Yeah. Okay, what about this person? <laughs> I'm just gonna see what else other people did for now, at least. Okay. This person... Oh, okay, this person escaped as well. And walked to the police station, I'm presuming. Where, yep, there they are. And then they walked, and then... She's there. Dang! So she was just there the entire time. Has anyone like made it out? Hey there, everyone, and how you doing today? And welcome to a nope to the police station. Oh, oh. Now let's get you back to your new home, shall? What? 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 Yeah. Oh, it's looking like there was like just no way. They all went to the police station too, so. Even in the phone booth, it's over. He's not around here, right? He's not gonna come out of nowhere and frisk you back to your new home, shall we? No! Dang. I tried. Dang. I wonder if there was, like, any other way, like, if you could have gone home. That's crazy, though. That was fun. That was super duper fun. I hope there's an act three. I don't understand how they would could do an act three. She just keeps killing everyone. She keeps winning. <laughs> I don't see the fun in that. Um, is there any other one I want to try in here? Not particularly. We'll save it all for Tuesday, maybe. Um, let's do a round of that new... We're going to do a new round of Home Safety Hotline, actually. Because they just did their update. And what was it? Call Trainer Update Trainer Mode. Yeah, it's for like a high score. I kind of want to see what it's like. See how fun it is. See what kind of score I can get. <laughs> so that'll be cool. Dang, that was a crazy game. Home safety hotline. Dun, 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 dun. Is it loading? Yeah, it is. Um. Let's get any key. I'm ready. I want to try out the new game mode. Here we go. Art book we've seen before. Call training. Here we go. Oh, options. What's in here? Oh, yeah. Display accuracy. Add a button to skip call wait time. Oh, like between calls? Hold on, that can actually work. Unemployment immunity. No, we don't need that. So what's training mode? Ah, here we go. Help as many callers as you can. If you fail three calls, you lose. Please correct. Uh, correct answers are worth 50 points each. Multiply your score of combos by... I can't scroll down. Why can't I scroll down? By getting in a... I can't scroll down. Wait... No, I can't scroll. Hold on. I'll just read it on the Steam thing. Um, call trainer mode. 
Call Train is a new endless score based game mode. In this training uh, made for bettering timing and accuracy, HS will a series of random calls will be tasked to answer correctly. As many calls as possible before failing. Multiple correct answers in a row will net you combos and increase your score. Be warned, these calls are times. As you progress, um, your allotted time to answer each call steadily decreases. Yeah. And our next game, please insert disc, which could be cool. I definitely want to try that out. So let's see just how, how well we can do. All right, I'm ready. Hello? Oh. I am in trouble. Oh, you don't even tell me. I don't know how to get back to my life. This isn't my life. I want, it wasn't the life I chose. I have to figure it out. That is, oh man, I haven't done this in a while. Uh... Oh, you have to just fit. Oh, 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 I get it. Is it neighbor's doorway? I think it's neighbor's doorway. Is it? Okay, yeah, it is. All right. Oh, I see, I see, I see. You need to help me. There's dirt all over my home. Something's gone inside. Now all kinds of plants and flowers are starting to grow right inside my living room. Oh, man, I don't remember. Oh, no, you are going to give me my stuff. Okay. Um, That was just a really bad one in the beginning. Ceilings are small insectoid creatures. They're known. Uh, remove ceilings. No, dirt, dirt. There's dirt all over my home. Something has gone inside. Isn't that the weird troll? The gardening troll? Oh, what's it called? Trash gnome? No, travel gnome? No, 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 no. Oh, I hate being timed. I can't find it. Ooh, this makes me so nervous. Ooh, this makes me so nervous. I can't find it. There was a certain troll that planted stuff, right? Lamp sprite, leprechaun, memory was mole. Night gnome? Nope. No, I'm screwed. Troll? Just a regular troll? No. Dude, I don't remember where it is. No way I'm gonna mess up this early. Dude, I'm done. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let me submit an answer, please. Um. Oh no, I'm dead. You got some sort of gnome, I know that. Nope. What was it? What was it? I totally forgot. It's not a leprechaun. Oh, okay. I need to read it. Alright. Hey, I need to buy someone's outside. I can barely see them, but they want to come inside. I need to know what to do. They want to come inside? Uh... They want to come inside. Someone's outside and wants to come inside. Someone. Oh, what about what about uh a reanimate? Reanimation? Do they want to come inside? Reanimations are capable. Of, they also commonly inflict. Mmm. Is it reanimation? It could be that. I'm gonna submit that. I'm gonna submit that. No way. I'm so garbage at this game now. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm this bad at the game. Reanimation. Is it? Oh no. Nope. It wasn't that. Okay. Man. Night no neighbor stole away. It wasn't a mole. Still trying to figure out what I was launch no. Any assistance? I can't sleep at night. There's something going on with our filtration. I can barely breathe. It feels like something sitting on my chest at night. Okay, I know what this is. This is the bed, the bed hag. You have bed hag. That I can at least say. There we go. Okay. 
house spider no laundry no no horde no all right what do you want what do you want what do you want i was told to call this number can you help me there's a something in our floor the floorboards have been feeling less sturdy as of late they're getting squeakier by the day what they're getting squeakier by the day floorboards I don't know. Uh I I think it's over. Floor roots? No. Oh, I don't know. This is it. This is it. I'm out I'm out of I'm out of I'm out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I... Floor is getting squeakier? Cellar grotto. Sure, you have a cellar grotto. Because I have no idea. No idea. Nope. Yep. Dang! <laughs> Oh, that was terrible. All right, come on, one more time. Dude, that was awful. What was I looking for before? There was like a something that would like grow stuff in your house. And the internet's gone. All right, hurry up. Uh, there's something getting into our house. I can hear awful crunching noise every night. And every morning there's weird clumps of hair near our tipped over garbage cans. You have a raccoon? I think you just have a raccoon, dude. You actually have a raccoon. You have a raccoon? No, you did not have a raccoon. <laughs> Gosh dang it! <laughs> oh no. Our garbage? Clumps of hair? What do you want? So, can you help me? I saw what looked like a child walking around my house last night. They stole food and left some kind of doll behind. Is that the animate? Um. Hearing clattering noises, night, and missing and stolen household objects. Many humanoid figure. Emanations are not directly dangerous to humans and will ignore them entirely as they go about their business. But the presence in a household, most animations will depart or collapse on their own after completing their intended function. There's no further needed. You have an animation. Look at that first one. There you go. Easy. Okay. But, like, bro. Travel gnome. Trash gnome. Did you have a trash gnome? You had a trash gnome. Yeah, you had a trash gnome. I should have just... Hey, how's it going? Hey, help! There's dirt all over my home! Something's gone inside, now all kinds of plants... No! I forgot! Sprig tree! No! Sprig vines! No! Spriggin! No! Soap sprite! No! Seedling! No! Reanimation! No! Rain nymph! No! Raccoon! Portal! Puka! Wait! Is it- is it a travel gnome? What does travel gnome do? I forgot. Yes! It's a travel gnome! It has to be a travel gnome! Oh my gosh! Please, please tell me it's a travel gnome. Oh my gosh, it was! Oh, it was a travel gnome and I just messed up! <laughs> okay, so the travel gnomes are the ones that come. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Okay, alright, now I'm- now I feel a little bit more confident. I require your expertise. I just moved to my home. For some reason, I found an egg on the floor in our bathroom. We just finalized the purchase, and I'm already worried some kind of snake or pest. An egg? Egg in the bathroom? Uh, keeping the toilet spotless. Tenant, when the problems every time leaks. Metamorphosizing. No. An egg? Who leaves an egg? Uh, there's often report objects moving on their own. No. Egg? Who the frick is laying eggs in the bathroom? Toilet hob. No. I have yet to see someone just say they laid an egg. These kids are great substances. Could it be a soap sprite? Uh, would that be considered an egg? Who's laying eggs? Uh, cobalt? Ooh, broken floorboards. Egg, 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 egg. None of this screams egg. None of this screams egg. 
None of these. A freaking egg. Someone's laying an egg here. Who's doing the eggs? Nope. 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 I'm gonna have to guess. I'm gonna guess the soap sprite because I have no idea. An egg? Soap sprite, soap sprite. Who the freak is laying eggs? It's not. A... No, it's not. Alright, I knew it wasn't. I knew it wasn't. But what the frick is laying an egg? A troll? Do you lay eggs? Uh... What? Yes, it's a kid's something like something. Okay. Yep, I already know this. You have a bed hag. Maybe I should keep. No, it's fine. Just, just send it. Just send it. Just send it. Toilet hob. Let's reread the toilet hob. Uh. Oh my gosh! It was a toilet hob. Need to read more. Hi there. Can you help me? I think there's a stalker in my house. The lights flicker off and on more at night. And it keeps. Someone keeps lighting my stove. When I'm not there, I don't know what to do. Lights flicker on and off. Do you have a bog art? Is that a bog art? Right? Yeah! Ooh! Ooh! Bog art was doing it! Okay, next. Okay. Help, something's in the sink. I dropped my ring down there. When I reached down and grabbed it, I could feel something trying to bite me. Need to know what to do. Sink? Will they bite? Would it be the pipe hop? The pipe? issue or would it be I don't think something was trying to would it be the pipe issue not frozen pipes not frozen pipes uh, pipe growth would it be the pipe growth would it yes because they're like a big stomach yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. all right come on come on come on come on I'm so golden right now I think there's Help something making me. me sick. I have horrid headaches. My skin is growing something. I wash my hands thoroughly each day and I need to know what, ha what can happen. Your skin is skin growing is something. Cold. Do you have Fae flu? Because that's what it sounds like. Fae flu. I'm like not even checking. I should probably check. Especially since I have like no chances. Nope. <laughs> oh man. Alright, one more time. One more time. One more time. This is actually really fun. This is stupidly fun. <laughs> Oh, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, alright, alright, alright. I'm ready. Hit me! Come on. I need assistance. There's something I happening to my cellar door. There's something sticky on it. It's almost like it's leaking. Please leaking? Hold. Cellar growth? Right? Cellar growth, cellar species, known dark, damp, such homeowners, for slimy meat, residue, sound of dripping, stretching, or strange clothes coming from the cellar. Um, uh, maybe you just have wood secretions? Maybe you just have wood secretions. Sticky door. Wood secretions. Confident. Confident on it. Yes! Okay. Next! Okay, what's up? Help, where noise coming from my attic? Sounds like something's banging against the floor up there. Please help me figure out what to do. You have an attic gnome. Because attic gnomes bang. <laughs> Attic gnomes bang. Yeah, they bang, all right. They're freaking. There we go. There we go. Getting in the groove. Come on. All right, let's go. I was told to call this number. Can you help me? I think my cat have gone into something in the basement. There's an awful smell coming from the there. Now my cat is behaving very strangely. Please, hold. Please hurry. Would that just be... Uh, cellar growth, no? No, cellar grotto? Strange. Uh, uh... I mean, what else would it be? I don't know. Now my cat's acting strangely? Awful smell. Or maybe you just have, uh... Actually, hold on. Maybe you just have a freaking whatever the thing is, the creepy thing. What's the creepy thing called? Maybe you have a puka. I think you actually have a puka. Because the puka kills the previous animal that it's taking over. 
Yep, you had a puka. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss. Ooh, that's bad. That sucks, you know. That that's awful. Oh well. <laughs> hey! How you doing? I'm in need of assistance. There's spiders everywhere in our home. I can't stop finding them. Now I've discovered what appears to be an entire garden in my attic filled to the brim with them. Please send something over. Garden in the attic? Please send someone over to deal with this immediately. Let's get into the result. Wait. There's just spiders everywhere? It appears your attic is filled with them? Uh... House spider? I mean, I think just that, right? I don't freaking know. This is such a weird one. I'm just giving you house spider because, like, I don't know. Unless it's a travel gnome. You got house spider? No. Okay, maybe it was travel gnome. Maybe it was travel gnome. Because travel gnome, it doesn't say where they would put it, right? New homes. Yeah, it doesn't tell- it doesn't say specifically where, so it could have just been a travel gnome just being a butthole. I mean, there's a huge foul-smelling hole outside the house. I almost fell in. How did this happen? Huge foul-smelling hole? Uh, huge outside of the house. A mole? Would a mole do that? Uh... They have, wait, they have close relations to ones beneath the soil? I never read that before. Oh, that's cool. Um, uh, a giant gopher? Mm. Maybe a gopher? Speak holes outside the house I have not heard of. Foul, big smelling hole outside the house. It's not a portal. Is it a reanimation? Uh. Oh, it is a reanimation. Maybe it is reanimation, actually, because if it's a big hole and it stinks, maybe they dug out, right? Yes, it was. Ooh, so smart. Smart. Yep, large holes in the ground appearing around the home. That's so smart. I wasn't. I didn't even read that. I was just thinking like, oh, they're digging their way out, you know. Um... Oh, okay. You have a spriggan. You have a spriggan. You have a spriggan. Bye. Right. Oh, we're doing so much better. We're doing so much better. Oh, we're doing so much better. Hello! Help me. I Keep finding webs in the basement. Trouble. They're getting uh, into every... Okay, so you oh. have house and You have house spiders. That's what you have. You have the house spider. Right? It's just webs, bro. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's just webs, girly. Chill out, man. Hello. I need assistance. There's something I in my attic. I can hear buzzing around up there. Please. Uh, Bees? Bees, you have bees. No, not black mold, bees. Buzzing? Bees. Bees in the attic? Happens. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we're doing so good right now. Do you see this peak? Peak, are you seeing this right now? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, don't don't slow down. Help me, my mother was outside the garden when I watched her suddenly lay face first in her fish pond. She won't stop saying what? Please hold. What? Uh... Face first, she won't stop saying must obey. Uh, dude, I have no freaking clue. Uh... <laughs> what? I'm about to put Dorcha because I have no idea. Must obey. Saying she won't stop saying she must obey. Does false beat do that? 
No. Dude, I don't know. This is such a weird one. I'm putting Dorcha. Is it Dorcha? It's probably not. No. What the frick was that? Must obey? Must obey? <sighs> yep. I need assistance if something outside my house have been able to find anything, but it feels like they're watching me. Trees are watching me. You have a spriggan, bro. Just talk to someone who had one. Don't touch it. Don't let it touch you. You'll be fine. Must obey. No. Night no neighbor's doorway. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I can't sleep at night. There's something uh, going on with filtration. Barely breathe. You have a bed hag. Yep. Yep. There you go. Must obey. Cobalt. What the frick does a cobalt do? Mm. Don't know what to do. Help me. I smell smoke, but I'm not cooking anything. It's getting hot in here. Please tell me what to do. It's a freaking fire. Get out of your house. What are you doing? It's a fire. <laughs> right? Yep. <laughs> you, have a ho you have a fire in your house, and you're just like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Dreamweaver. Let's read that next. Hello. Please help me. Help Something's me. eating all of my imported ladybugs in my garden. I think it has something to do with the mounds in my dirt yard. Tell me what to do. Help. You have a mole? No, gopher. Gopher does the mounds. No, wait. They're not eating sexes. No, you have a mole. You got a mole. Alright. Must obey, huh? Must obey. Dreamweaver. Mm. Need help. There's something I in my house. I can hear someone help. wheezing at night and I can hardly catch my breath when I hear it. Mm. Oh, you do have another. Okay. Bed hag. Easy. Also, that sounds terrifying. Cool. Must obey, huh? Must obey. I don't freaking know. The whore? Hey. How you doing? Someone's outside. I can barely see them. Uh, but they want to come inside. Tell me what to do. Please. Oh. They want to come inside. Uh, rain sprite. Rain nymph. Uh... No. They want to come inside. Oh, this is where I end. I don't know. They want to come inside. 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 I... I'm gonna say... Spriggan. I don't know. It's not a Spriggan. No. What could have it been? I wish I would tell you what you got wrong. Mmm. At least a new high score. That's fun. I wonder, like, who's got the highest score right now. Because they gotta be out there, you know? Working it. Uh, exit to me. My new progress will be lost. Exit. Just exit. Don't keep me stuck in here now. And then Discord art book. Hmm. Yeah, I wish we had something like this, but for the the call training, that would be really cool. But sweet, I enjoyed that. That was fun. All right. Uh, what else do I want to do today? Kind of just like looking around, thinking. Kind of just want to uh, get into some kindmen. Maybe do a little bit of kind- well, a little bit. Do some kaiman, um, for a little bit. I think that'll be fun to do. Yeah. Yeah, let's get into kaiman. Or maybe- ooh, Mortician's Tale. This is a game I've been wanting to play, too. Ooh, do I want to try this? Yeah, let's do this. This will be fun to try. Then we can do some kaiman, um... Some time in afterward. Yeah. Sweet. 
That's what we'll do. Fine. Uh, morticians. Oh, they do. Oh, this game was out in 2017. That's crazy. I didn't realize that. Sweet. Let's do that. And then we'll get into some, um, some Kaiman remedy. Continue that. I know, I know I need to do more not for broadcast. I, I'll definitely do some of that, um, either, I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow, but if I do stream tomorrow, it will definitely be that, or Monday. Here we go. Oh, that's pretty. Highlight color, pink, blue, green. We'll do pink. Keep up with the, with the vibe that you're putting out. All right, let me pause my music. And I'll raise this up a little bit. Hopefully that sounds good. All right, let's get into it. September 14th, 10.15 a.m. Oh, ooh, I love this art style already. I already know I'm gonna love this game. Do I walk around with Waz? No, it's a click. Don't we look cute? And our little tattoos. Oh. Hello and welcome to our funeral director. Uh, from Matthew Jeffrey to Charlie. Welcome, Charlie. Nice to meet you. My name's Matthew, and I'm mainly going to be the man who delivers the bodies to you and help with some of the more heavy lifting. Ever hear a joke about a hearse driver? I tell you when I come by in a bit. Looking forward to uh, to working together. Think you'll enjoy working here. Amy is a sweetheart, but she runs a tight ship. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. She wouldn't have hired you otherwise. Cheers and good luck. Matthew J, funeral director. Oh, Rose and Daughter's funeral home. Uh, welcome to our new funeral director. Here we go. Hello, everyone. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce our new funeral director, Charlotte, or Charlie, as she told me she likes to be she likes to be referred to. Charlie is a recent graduate who came highly recommended and is eager to begin her career with us at Rose and Daughter's funeral home. Please take the time to make Charlie feel at home with our little family. We'll have a nice catered lunch this afternoon so we can all get to know each other a little bit better as well. Sincerely, Amy Rose, founder and director. Cool. All right, so that was this email. Okay. Uh, Charlie. Hello, Charlie. You're new here, so it's probably best I explain where everything is. In your office preparation room, you'll find your cremation station, uh, cremulator station, embalming station, and obviously, since you're reading this email, your desk and computer area. I know you have experiences working with these stations, but please let me know if you have any questions. Best regards. Sweet, she's nice. Ooh, Jen Love. Huh, guess my subject lines to you. Wait, good luck, you beautiful and smart baby. You are. Huh, guess my subject lines to you should start being more professional now that we are business professionals. I can't wait to get your reply so I can see your fancy new email signature. I love that you were able to land this gig straight after graduating. Sounds super cool. I didn't even know mom and pop funeral homes were a thing until now. Guess it's not just something I really think about much. Um, I should really, I, I should look more into this. I learned more about your world and industry because I, as I said, you are now a very serious professional. Speaking of being professional, my museum gig is amazing. Can't believe somebody paid me to move to London and not London on serial killer capital Canada. Oh to work in a museum. Like, take that everyone who said I couldn't get a job with an art history degree. I'll tell you more about it when I, we Skype. My stories require you to see my face and that you hear my excellent British accent impersonation. <laughs> I also, I signed you up for a funerals monthly newsletter. Consider it your graduation gift. Love you, super proud of you, gift. Love you, love you, love you, Jen. Museum creator, London Pathology Museum. That's cool. Oh, okay, so that's a response. Uh, maybe we should read, hold on, we'll read the funeral monthlies and then we'll get to the response. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Each month we bring you a newsletter featuring a topic pertaining to the death industry. Great. This month is all about good etiquette for attending a funeral. Can't really believe we have to write this one out, but since we said uh, we'll answer your most popular questions, here we are. Because this definitely was, or this is definitely one of the most popular questions. Funerals are a hard time, and we understand that. But here are some quick and easy rules to remember for being respectful at a funeral. Genuinely following the guides of don't be a jerk should work. 
One, don't be on your cell phone. We understand you're busy, but at this time, in a place to disengage, uh, if you have been on your cell phone, don't do so inside the funeral home. Don't be loud and obnoxious. You can share happy stories, but other people are also grieving and working through their own healing process. Being quiet gives other people the space they might need. Don't get drunk! Yeah, seriously, that's a big one. Everyone can deal with their feelings in their own ways. Just remember to be respectful when the grieving family and friends. When with the grieving family and friends. Happily remnants. Sometimes remembering happy moments and positive experiences with the disease can be a productive part in the, of the healing process. Give condolences. It's not easy knowing what to say to someone, but even a simple thinking of you can go a long way. It's very true. Dress appropriately. What well, this looks like will change based on the customs of the deceased and their culture, but always dress in a way that shows respect to the deceased and their grieving family. Give a gift or sign the registration book. This can be flowers or a nice card, but it's the thought that counts here. Sometimes this can even be just cooking dinner for the grieving family. Anything that shows that you care and want to help them through the healing process is what matters here. Be kind and be helpful. Aw, this is actually really sweet and helpful. I love that. And then, our actual thing. Uh, from Amy, today's task. Hello, Charlie. Hope you settled in okay so far. Matthew should have dropped off your first body for you to work on. He said you were really friendly, and he's glad to have someone young and lively to work with. You'll get used to his sense of humor. Your first body, body is Mrs. Garcia, an elderly woman who died suddenly of a heart attack. The family has asked for a closed casket funeral, so no embalming or body preparation is necessary. The family seems a little bit more united than previous families we've dealt with. Strange how grief affects people differently. Perhaps having more time to say goodbye makes things a bit easier, if that's possible. That being said, although you will not be embalming Miss Garci Mrs. Garcia, I do think it's important to take the time to clean her body. No one is going to see her body, but I like to encourage my funeral directors to do this out of respect for the decease of their loved ones You'll and their loved ones. You'll find Mrs. Garcia in the prep room. Talk soon. Amy Rose. Cool, okay. Uh, dear Mia, of course, we'll happily oblige your request for no embalming. Oh. Special request for my mother's funeral. Also, is this like we're just tied into this too? Oh, there she is. Okay. Um, let's read the bottom. Dear Amy, we're happy to be with Rose and Daughters for my mother's funeral. We understand that there are usually procedures that must be followed in these situations, but if you can kindly not embalm my mother, that would be greatly appreciated, and we will proceed with the closed casket for the service. I just know she wouldn't have wanted her death to be to have any negative impact on the environment, and since she fought hard, so hard to beat her heart disease and to live healthily, it would be a shame for her to have her final moments be to be a counter to the way she lived. Thank you for anything that you can do to help us in the matter. That's sweet. That's sweet and smart. Aww. Of course, we'll happily oblige your request for no embalming and for a closed casket. Casket. I'll ensure our funeral director receives the request, and then she just e emails us, showing us the rest. Cool. I'll get right to it. And there she is. Dang, <laughs> just the mouth open, man. <laughs> just. Hi, Mrs. Garcia. And she's at least she's covered up. This is the prep room. We will prepare bodies for burials and viewings. Because the family has requested a closed casket ceremony with no embalming, you're just going to clean the body. Okay. So eye caps. Oh, that's the thing. Those are the spiky things that keep the eyes closed. Glue. Razor, cotton balls, needle, lotion, scalpel, tubing, cannula. I don't think we're using the cannula. And then that's the fluid choker. So let's just... Yeah. Alright. Clean her up a little. There we go. I like that. Showing respect for her. That's it. You're done. Miss Garcia will be sent to Mike, who will take care of dressing and putting her in the casket. Oh, okay. It's time to go, Mrs. Gar it's time to go to Mrs. Garcia's funeral. You're responsible for taking care of the deceased's body, but it's also important to pay your respects to their loved ones. Oh! The follow the arrow to head to the funeral parlor. Oh, so we actually go and attend. Oh yeah, look, we're dressed differently. Okay, that makes sense. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Hi. Pay respects, pay respects, pay respects. Pay respects. Who are you paying respects to? Her. Hello. Yeah, heard the family specifically said no embalming. Thought it was mandatory, like required by law. But I guess not. Embalming weirds me out. 
Do those chemicals leach into the ground? It seems strange to be put using a chemical that is known to cause cancer and putting it into the ground like that. Or into the sewer. That's what they must do with the leftover formaldehyde, right? Just pour it down the drain? Oh! At least embalming guarantees you won't be buried alive. <laughs> Stop it. Don't make me laugh right now. Oh! Are you mom? Hello? I hate wearing pantyhose. My legs are so itchy, but it's always so cold in these funeral homes. I think I, act I might actually miss those sweaters she used to knit for me now. Oh! Hello, little kid. Mommy, I'm hungry. When can we go? Yeah, kids don't really have like the the scent the like the sense of the importance of this. Hello. We usually don't do small talk. Uh, we don't small talk. Wait, we usually don't small talk a lot at these things. At least that's what I was always taught. Yeah, you just kind of keep it keep low. Hello. She would have hated these paintings. She was so particular. Yeah. At least she doesn't have to see them, I guess. That's... Yeah, I guess. Ugh! Pay respects. Aww. Another beautiful life lived. Alright. Goodbye. Also, kid, there's snacks here. Come on, eat it. Shut up. Leave mom alone. October 11th. 10 a.m. 10.09. Oh, we're cleaning. Okay. And I guess this is what we do our cremations in. Yes, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Another month? Yes, I'm reading. Are these all new emails? They are! Okay. I'm so frustrated right now. Hi, Jennifer. Okay, so let me explain this in a bit more detail. A colleague and I were discussing the tight lacers liver specimen we have here at the museum. It's from a woman who died in 1907, and the liver is tapered inwards from what the doctor leading the autopsy believed was too tight lacing on her cork corset. It's fascinating because it's kind of a controversial topic. Tight lacing was a super popular, and while people associated it with fainting or hysteria, uh, it's actually been associated with visceropdosis, which is when the organs fall to the lower part of the abdomen, right? Which is super unsettling, but also can be caused by being pregnant. So, too long didn't read. Of course, it's probably messed up some bones, but likely didn't do this kind of internal organ damage. And I'm tired of the condescension, of the con yeah, condescension about my wardrobe. That also implies I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, so she wears corsets. Got it. These are the kind of things I specifically research. Yet I'm treated like I know nothing about. Having a day, Charlie. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, is this another? Oh, this is another part. Oh, another rant. Can I rant just for a second? I'm so tired of hearing strangers, colleagues, anybody, <coughs> male colleagues, get on my case for wearing corsets. I wear them under my blazer and over a nice blouse. So it's not like I'm dressing inappropriately, even though dress codes are such sexist BS anyways. And like, I hate how their misogyny gets veiled in faux concern. Jen, I'm just worried you're damaging your body. You know what corsets do to livers, right? Corsets don't do anything to livers. They're definitely not hurting me as much as your condescension is hurting my head. <laughs> uh, ugh, sorry, I'm on a source right now. I'll send you another email in a little bit when I've cooled off a bit. Aw, she's going through a rough one. Alright, let's read here. Oh, sweet. Aw, she ain't- Hi, Amy. Please pass along our deepest thanks to you and your staff for the wonderful job they did with our mother's funeral. It was really lovely. Our family was so really gets together. It was nice seeing everyone come out for such a beautiful service. My son never gets to see his family. Also, it was incredibly kind of you to let us bring our own food in. Getting to share some home-cooked meals, sharing stories, being there together was... meant a lot. So what I'm saying is, it was nice for everyone to be there like that, together in that way. And I know how much of that was due to the work of your staff, especially your funeral director. Thank you for making this difficult time easier for all of us. Aww. Just passing this message along. Thanks for your hard work, Charlie. Oh, yay! That's so good. Uh, then monthly. Okay, so that this is probably our next job, right? Maybe. Okay, whoa, whoa, okay, okay, okay. Let's read this first. What's weird when you're attending a funeral from a different culture? We all know everyone wants to respect, uh, be respectful at funerals. Don't talk too loudly. Be kind. Smile. Refrain from making inappropriate jokes. At least around the grieving family. Hey, sometimes pe some people do need a little bit of pick-me-up during such hard times. Who are we to judge? 
And a big part of that is knowing what to wear. Roman Catholic funerals tend to lean more to the formal, formal black attire rule, and it works for us. Did you know this goes back to the days of the Roman Empire, where people would wear black as a symbol for mourning? Black isn't universally the symbol for mourning, though, and if you're attending a funeral that is from a culture that is not your own, it's important to understand this. Some colors have different meanings, and despite your best intentions, the wrong choice can mean accidental offense. For example, in Hinduism and in Chinese cultures, white is typically a color for funerals. For Islam, though, it is less about the color you're wearing and more about how modestly you're dress you dressed. Afraid of wearing any elaborate jewelry and be respectful of your behavior. For Sikh funerals, color of the clothing isn't as important as is dressing modestly and being able to appropriately sit cross-legged. Actually, being respectful is just the number one rule of for any funeral, no matter what, really. Depend remember that, and please don't hesitate to ask what is is it appropriate to wear. If you're attending to support a friend, family member, or partner, this day is not about you. So be sure to wear do whatever you can to be as respectful and supportive as possible, even if it means not wearing what you're used to wearing at a funeral, or even if it means asking how you can appropriately show your respects. I like that. That's really nice. And then Matthew Jeffrey. Hey there, Charlie. I was driving around the other day, you know, taking our clients on their last trip around town, and I was thinking, strange, I know, <laughs> did I ever tell you about the first time I went to a funeral? I was a teenager, about to start university, and a friend of mine was killed in a car accident, totally out of the blue, really tragic stuff, messed me and my friends up real good. But so, the big day, we all got into our best suits and dresses and packed ourselves into a few cars. There were a lot of us, so we had at least three different cars full of us. Like clown cars, you know? <laughs> While we were in the processing procession of going to the cemetery, somebody in our car got a phone call from a friend in a different car. Turns out, some asshat driver who doesn't know how to, how to not get in the way of a procession drove through the intersection and smashed straight into our friend's car. Wow, nobody was hurt, thank god, but can you imagine getting that call? Anyways, one of my friends in the same car as me, the one who got the phone call, hung up and started laughing. Just laughing her ass off in the way that makes you not sure if they're really just crying or if they've gone fully off the deep end. And she laughed, and then we all started giggling because, like, go figure, life's messed up sometimes, you know? There's no morale. No point to that story, I guess. Just remember that story and I wanted to tell you. Because we work with death all the time and I still sometimes get caught off guard by what ac what it, that actually means. Oh, before you get any ideas, it has nothing to do with why I, be why I became a funeral director. That's a decision, that decision came totally later and is nothing unremarkable. Somebody has to do it and I have a strong stomach, so why not? See you in a bit, Charlie, Matthew, J. Okay, learning a bit more about the people around us, about their stories, which I think is really nice. Oh, we can actually look at their website. Wow, that costs a lot. Dude, why are these so expensive? Holy cow. About Rose and Dottas. Rose and Dottas Funeral Home was founded by my grandparents back in 1956. The Rose family has proudly served the area since then, providing personal, affordable funeral services for all. Affordable? Uh, I'm proud to have carried on my family for the last 36 years, working with the best and brightest funeral directors and grief counselors in the area. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you recently experienced loss. Aww. Dang. Okay. All right. Let's see what our job is. Hi, Charlie. Uh, here are the instructions for your next body. You did a remarkable job on the first one. The family is very happy with you. No small feat, of course. Pleasing and a grieving family isn't exactly the most comfortable of jobs. Your next job is a man named Mr. Duval, an elderly man, died of old age. Nothing fancy, just a standard funeral with embalming. You can reach out to his daughter, Lizzie Duval, if you have any questions. She's handling her father's passing as well as can be expected. As always, don't hesitate to ask me any questions. Best, Amy Rose. Uh, P.S. Charlie Deer, please remember to wear proper embalming gear. From all the height is extremely dangerous. I know I don't need to tell you, but my maternal instincts are hard to ignore. I promise I won't mother you too much. Well, just a little. Ask Matthew, he knows. <laughs> Aww. She's so sweet. Oh, I didn't freaking accept it. Oopsies. Yeah, I'll accept it. Alright. Are we wearing- yeah, we're wearing proper gear. Hello, Mr. Duval. I'm gonna be, uh- Duval, why- is that hair? 
Uh, traditional burials typically require embalming, which preserves the body and prevents from decomposing as quickly. Yep. Unless a family requests otherwise, all traditional burials uh, will use embalming. Let's start by cleaning the body. Hi, potato! Potato, you missed it again! I played freaking- that's not my neighbor! Again! And it was scary. Click on the sponge and drag over the body to clean it. Alright. Let's get you spotless, Mr. Duval. Do we need to shave you? I wonder if we do. I would shave him. Yep, we are shaving him. Click on the razor and shave. Yeah. Oh, you look so nice now, Duval. Oh, I forgot that part. There you go. It's like donut sprinkles. <laughs> oh. In order to break rigor mortis, you'll have to massage the body. Click and drag over the body to massage it. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna give you a nice mas massage, Duval. Does it feel good? The eyeballs deflate once they st <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm learning so much I don't want to know. The eyeballs deflate once the body starts decomposing. Click and drag the eye cap on each eye sock to- Oh. Ah! There you go. To keep the eyes shut, you'll need to glue them. Click and drag the glue. Okay, we're just gonna- There you go. Alright. The mouth sags and hollows once the body starts decomposing. Click and drag a cotton ball in the mouth to give it shape. Oh, we just stuff it with cotton ball? To keep the mouth from opening, you need to suture it shut. Click and drag the needle uh, over the- okay. Needle. Alright. Alright, Mr. Duval. Alright, how's that not noticeable? Click and drag the lotion in the body moisturizer. It prevents the skin from drying out. Why aren't there gonna be clothes on it? Here we go. There you go. Alright. Embalming involves removing blood and replacing it with preserving chemicals. Click and drag the scalpel over the neck and make an incision. Here we go. There we go. You're going to need a tube for draining the blood. Click on the tube. There we go. Click on the cannula and drag it uh, into the car carotid artery. This is how you'll get the preserving chemicals into the bloodstream. Ugh! Now you'll need to connect the embalming machine to the cannula. Oh, crap, some additional tubing and drag it to the cannula. Okay. Wait, isn't this the cannula? What's the cannula? This is the cannula. There we go. Click the button on the embalming machine to turn it on. Ugh. Oh, we have to massage still. In order to evenly distribute the chemicals, we all have to massage the body throughout them. Okay. Massage. Ooh. Massage. And a massage. Is that feeling good? Yeah. Is that great? That must feel so nice. There we go. There we go. All right. Man, we have to use all of that. All right. Get you some Kool-Aid. You know, you're gonna feel really good after this. You're gonna feel so alive. I'm. What? Huh? Not me. Great, now let's sew up the incision. Click and drag the needle over it to close it. Alright, let's seal that little hole that we made. Huh? Almost done. You'll need to drain the organs of any remaining fluids. Click on the choker and then click to hold the oven. Oh. Ow. Ew. Alright, that's your stomach. Alright, and then let's get your small intestine. Yep. Is that your appendix? Alright. Oh, that's not all of it. Okay. Yeah, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Yeah, where have you been eating? And you're done. Mike will take care of Mr. Duval's makeup, as well as dressing and putting him in a casket. I want to do the makeup. It's time to attend the funeral. All right, we're all dressed up. Let's see. Oh, there he is. Hey, what are you doing on your phone? Disrespectful. Well, he's a kid. Let's pay our respects. Aww. Let's talk to everyone. Hello. He always wanted to take his grandkids to the park. Play catch. He loves playing catch. He threw a mean curveball, that's for sure. <laughs> Not the time, child. At least he's being quiet about it. So strange not seeing most people wearing white. White? Yeah, I think it's different for different family members. Can't remember. 
gone to many traditional funerals. It's mostly white, but like definitely not red, no matter what. Ooh, no red to a funeral. I have not been to one of these in a while. Very, 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 very long time. Uh, thankfully. Came out of nowhere. I mean, it always sort of does, doesn't it? Yeah. One minute you're laughing, having fun. And the next, poof. Person is gone. Just like, gone. Yeah, it's weird to think about it for too long. Like staring at the sun. I start to feel all fuzzy when I think about it. Mm-hmm. So weird how our bodies just stop working like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gets even the weird feels, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. December 2nd, 10.22 a.m. Dang, we're skipping months. Ooh, are we actually going to work on cremation this time? It's cool that we're learning about the different processes. I like it. Alright, we got a bunch of emails to read. Alright, uh, let's start from the bottom. If you have been a long time subscriber to our emails or follow us on social media, you have no doubt heard about the misgendering that transgender people are at times subjected dur to, to, to during funerals. Really? There have been notable situations where trans women have had their wishes be overruled by their families and have had their hair cut are buried under the wrong names and subjected to the wrong pronouns in their obituary announcements. Wow, that's awful. I care a lot about this. We believe in treating every person with the same level of compassion, respect, and care. Yes, as you do. This absolutely extends to pronouns and respecting the deceased wishes as per lived experiences. CDC's Funeral Director's Handbook on Death Registration and Fetal Death Reporting offers the fraught directive, enter male or female based on observation. Do not abbreviate or use other symbols. If sex cannot be determined after verification with medical records, inspection of the body, or other resources or other sources, enter unknown. Do not leave this item blank. Leaving it up to observation obviously enters into a world of issues since bodies can be so different, and because of ingrained bias, people can draw incorrect assumptions based on their own accurate observations. California has passed what is known to be the Respect After Death Act, which states that the death certificate must reflect the deceased gender identity as they lived it. That's perfectly understandable and reasonable. So a step in the right direction. People who are trans deserve the same respect in death that people who are cisgender receive. Misgendering in death takes away this respect. It can also inflict hurt and trauma on spouses and friends that survive the deceased. So what can we do as funeral directors? Listen to the people who come in your office. In America, especially some marriages, may not be recognized as legal depending on the laws around same-sex marriage. But this doesn't mean you're not dealing with two people who have loved each other in the same way as, other, as another couple. Listen, learn, always be respectful. While you have to work with the next of kin, your duty is also to ensure that deceased receives the utmost respect on their burial. If you don't to honor deceased, then let them do that honor them. Yeah, I mean, literally, it's their final moments where everyone says goodbye, and you're gonna, like, disrespect it? That's stupid. Matthew! Oh, okay. Hey, Matthew! This is embarrassing, but it seems I miscalculated some of our income, and I don't have enough to pay you this week. Oh, no, is the business going down? Would it be terribly inconvenient if I cut you a check for next week instead? If you need the money urgently, please let me know. I feel terrible terrible about this whole thing. I can cut you a check from my personal account if need be. So sorry about this. I'm sure you won't happen again. Dang, we're not doing well. I mean, that's a good thing and a bad thing, you know, not doing well because people are living, but like, losing money. <sighs> I don't like the look of this, not one bit. I know you've only been with us for a few months, but maybe you're aware of the trouble Amy ha has been having. A small mom and pop shop like Rose and Daughters can't compete with the bigger guys. Anyway, don't tell Amy I sent this to you. Also, I'm starving, so I'm going to grab some fast food before taking the hearse through a car wash. Two roads, one stone. And swinging back to the home. Do you want anything? A beef and cheddar? <laughs> I'm going to take the hearse through the drive through Of course, it freaks people out. I love it. They get so awkward. Let me know. Heading out in 15 minutes. Oh, so she doesn't know that they sent this to us. Okay. Dang. Alright. Uh, here we go. Meet cutes for death positive cuties. <laughs> Charlie, I was doing some reading. I know you hate when I try to give you dating advice, but hear me out. There's this dating site that specifically is for people working in the death industry. Okay, so maybe I'm a little worried for you. You haven't mentioned anybody new since the breakup of 2014 that we, uh... 
I will never speak of again of after, again after this moment. <laughs> but you're always saying how tired you get of people being scared to ask about your day. So maybe meeting somebody in the industry isn't the worst idea? Just promise me you'll consider it, okay? It's harder for me to make sure you're seeing sunlight when I'm all the way across the ocean. I know you look like a babe with pale skin and witchy gothy aesthetics are super hot right now, but vitamin D is still a good thing. Very true. I need to go outside even. Um, rant over. Um, I'm going to try it out because it turns out people get super scared off when you tell them you work in the museum full, uh, filled with dead bodies. I've always wanted to go to one of those museums, but I feel like I would get too creeped out. Do you know, uh, do you know how not interesting other people find teratomas? Charlie, I didn't know we were this weird <laughs> to outside people. I've been spoiled by having the best friend who is as much of a weirdo as I am. Miss you. Let's grab a bottle of wine for our next Skype date. P.S. If you sign up for Dead Meat, isn't that the best name for the death industry dating website? Uh, Tinder rules applies. You have to like me if you come across my profile or whatever. I'm not sure how it works just yet, though. <laughs> That's cute. Um, passing this on. Thank you for the note. Hi, Amy. Thank you for the wonderful evening and your staff put together for my father's funeral. He wasn't always an easy man to get along with, but I'm glad to have seen him off in such a kind way. Aww. All right, let's see what this next one is. Today's funeral is from one who died from breast cancer. Nothing fancy, just a standard cremation. Please don't hesitate to ask me if you have any questions. All right, let's get to it. Oh, there she is. And why is it gold or is that like cardboard? Isn't it supposed to be like something like cardboard, right? Maybe I'm not, I don't know. Oh, before we cremate Miss Hall, we must prepare her body. Mrs. Hall's family brought clothing and jewelry for her to wear. It's important to remove these before the cremation process as to not damage them. Let's start by removing her necklace. Click and drag the necklace, place on the purple tray. We'll, to place, uh, we'll place the necklace in the urn with Miss Hall. Ah, that's that makes sense. We need to be able to identify Mrs. Hall's remains after she's been cremated. Click and drag the round identification tag and place it in the coffin. Oh, is this metal? Great, Mrs. Hall is all set to be cremated now. That's it. I do this in Kindman Remedy. I know a little thing or two about this. Alright. Oh, is this her? Wait. What? This is the cre cremulator. Contrary to popular belief, cremation doesn't turn bodies into ash so much as bone fragments. Using the cremulator will break these bone fabrics down into ash-like remains. Oh, I didn't know that! Let's start by placing the urn in the cremulator. Click on the urn and drag it. Cremulator. Wait, what? Click on the urn and drag it in the cremulator under the nozzle. Oh, I see. I uh, drag the bone fabrics. Okay, so I, I, I kind of understand now. I watched- I don't know if anyone watched the freaking... No, what's it? What's the- with the guy? Jeffrey Dahmer? That stupid Netflix series, it kind of showed that the it didn't burn away, but like, oh, I just didn't, I don't know, I didn't put two and two together. Alright. Alright. Oh, that's so... Do you, how often do you clean this? Do you like, make sure you like, you don't, you're not mixing people here? Now all the bones have been processed, click and drag the urn back onto the counter. Okay. Uh, make sure to put Mrs. Hall's necklace into the urn. Don't forget it. Identification lid. Alright, all done. Amy will take the urn to the funeral parlor, parlor and present it alongside with some flowers. Oh yeah, there's- I never thought about a funeral with just an urn. That's nothing that ever came across my mind. Oh. That's very interesting. I've never seen that before. Yeah, I mean, they sell- they, they do it too. I thought you would have like a casket funeral and then like you would cremate them, but this makes more sense. This is nice, in a weird way. She liked that we're all here, talking. She always tried to keep the family together. The food is delicious. I know that's a weird- that's weird. These crab cakes are perfect. Nice. Caring about food in a weird time. Glad she's creme- she was cremated and not in like an open casket or something. Seeing her like that? I don't know if I could've. At least we all got to say goodbye. She would've liked that. She fought really hard. She was proud of herself. She never gave up, not once. Oh, my heart for him. Oh. oh man. 
She would have hated this music. She never wanted her funeral to be sad. She would have wanted a smiling. She said so. Change the music then! I don't know what I would want. Gangnam Style. The Search. Those songs. February 14th! Happy Valentine's Day! Alright. What we got? Wow, we got a lot. Oh, okay. Keeping protecting our Earth with green burials. You lived your life mindful of the environment, doing your part to reduce pollution, and generally help out where you can. So why not continue doing that even in death? At least, that's the thinking for a lot of people who are turning to green for or natural burials. Natural cemeteries are becoming more popular and are focused on a few rules. Mainly, it's that bodies aren't allowed to be involved with chemicals that can damage the environment, and bodies must be buried in a biodegradable shroud or casket. Not only is this better for the environment, it's also cheaper. At Union Cemetery in Ontario, Canada, a natural burial is just over $1,000. So better for the people, the environment, just maybe not so good for big businesses. Let's not forget, people, this is still a business after all. But why go green? Uh, green burials help preserve natural resources, work to reduce carbon emissions, protect the health of those preparing bodies, and restore pr preserve natural habitats. Embalming fluids tend to contain formaldehyde, and funeral directors report a higher incidence of leukemia. Going green and not using toxic chemicals for embalming helps protect funeral directors while at the same time lessening the impact we have on the environment after we're gone. We're here at Funerals Monthly thinking- uh, Funerals Monthly think green burials are pretty cool. What do you think? There's a burial where you can turn yourself into a tree. Well, not turn yourself, but like you feed it into a tree. I thought that was always cool. Jen, Charlie, Challenger Productions. I've been playing a new game when things are slow at work. It's called Tales from the Crypt Sweeper. Get it? Get it? It's like Minesweeper, but way harder. Like seriously, it's really, really difficult. And I thought my Minesweeper game was on point after working that overnight front desk job at the hotel for three years, but I must have gotten rusty. Anyways, instead of mines, you want to avoid graves so you don't disturb the adorable ghosts. The main character is also kind of looks like you. Want to start a healthy competition? High score gets to pick the restaurant we go to when one of us is in town next. Oh, I love her. She's such a freaking bestie. Um, hi, Amy. Uh. Oh. Okay, let's see. Hold on. This is actually some serious stuff about the previous people we did. Uh, hi, Amy. I know this email might be a bit odd, but you said if I was ever having troubles, I should reach out and you know you would know somebody I could talk to about all this. I just I don't know what to do now. I know my grandmother had lived a f full good life and she was very happy and she's not in any pain now, but I still feel feel empty, Amy. Never felt this empty before. What am I supposed to do now? Thought I was stronger than this. Can you refer to me to someone to talk to? Don't want to freak out my mom right now. She's dealing with enough with work and the will in trying to just be the best mom she can. I just need somebody to tell me that it'll be okay. Thank you. Sorry for being an inconvenience. Oh no, you're not being an inconvenience. My heart. My heart melts for him. I thought I would forward this to you in situations like this. We typically connect people like Ryan with a grief counselor or other professionals who can really help them. Sometimes we get emails like this when people don't know where else to turn. It's difficult and family isn't the, old, the most reliable for some people. Usually, I'd be happy to connect him, but I'm feeling a little tired today. Not my usual self, and it would be good for you to start building these kind of relationships on your own. You're a treasure. Aww. Is she gonna be okay? I hope the business is, is doing a bit better. Okay, so... Alright, here we go. Hi, Amy. I'm so eternally grateful that you were able to accommodate our request for my sister's funeral. It was a beautiful service. She would have been happy. That's such a weird thing to say, isn't it? Thank you again from the bottom of my heart. Yep, Charlie thought you would like this sweet. So she was happy. A news about the future of Rose. Oh, no. <gasps> no! Oh, hi, all. It is with a very heavy heart that I write to let you know that Rose and daughter will no longer be in business. Had no idea how to start this email and resources. I googled, told me that it would be best in the easiest way to break the ice. Be direct, but remorseful, Google said. <laughs> the truth is, I don't really know what to say. Since my father passed away, I've done my best to make Rose and daughters warm, friendly to anyone who chose our services. It was a memorial to him, the original Rose, in a lot of ways. And you've all become like family, including you, Charlie, our most recent addition. 
but it's been getting harder to make ends meet. Rent is going up in the neighborhood, and I'm finding less and less like I have the energy for this business. There's a lot of competition from other funeral homes, larger corporations than we are, that can take on more businesses and offer more impressive services. You know the way it goes. So, we've been bought, or I sold, either way soon, Hillside Heritage Enterprises, Inc., a company that owns many funeral homes in the city and across the country will replace Rose and Daughters starting from the beginning of next month. Same building, same name. They're keeping the name Rose and Daughters Funeral for tax purposes. Though honestly, I'm trying hard not to just see it as a move on their part to keep up the image that it's a family-run business. I don't know how to feel about that, but I also don't know if there's anything I can do at this point either. Sign the papers. At least my father's legacy is still intact somewhat. I feel bad. They have good reputation and I've agreed to keep you all on. That was one of my stipulations. I would sell as long as you weren't without a job. Sorry I didn't tell you in a more personal way. Would have loved a company lunch, but I admittedly didn't have the tar heart to tell you in person. This was much easier for me. Please understand. Sincerely, Amy Rose, founder and director. Oh, man. Hi, Amy. You asked if there was any special instructions we wanted to pass along. Just please cremate my father. He has a pacemaker, too. The doctor told me that it would need to be removed. Oh! Uh, cremation pacemaker. Please see the note below about the pacemaker. They can be tricky. So, do we have to, like, lay them out? Or cut it out? Oh, this is... Man. I feel so bad. Yeah, we are cutting out. Mr. Reyes came directly from the hospital, so we don't have to worry about removing any valuables from him, as the family did not provide any of us for, to include. However, Mr. Reyes has a pacemaker. We'll need to remove it before cremation. The doctors couldn't remove it? Because pacemakers have batteries. They'll explode inside the hot heat of cremation machine. We'll definitely not want that. Let's start by removing his pacemaker. Alright. You can see the pacemaker. Click on the forceps. Oh, it's just right there, huh? There it is! Uh, do we suture? I guess not. Mr. Reyes is all set to be cremated now. I guess not. He doesn't need it. That's true. Dang. Alright, he's all nice and pretty in a beautiful vase. Urn. Uh, yep, bone fragments. Yep. I know the I I got it I got it I got it. Is that all? Nice. Yep. Put it alongside some flowers. Dang. Oh. Hello. I wonder if he ever liked me. He was nice to me, but I don't know if he ever seemed like he really cared if I was there or not. Aw, don't say that. Of course he liked you. You wouldn't be here if otherwise. I always told him to quit smoking, but of course he never listened to me. So, that figures. Oh, that sucks. What do you want me to, what do you want to do after this? It's pretty nice out. Let's change and go find a patio somewhere. Sounds good. I could really use a beer right now. Hey, did I ever tell you the time we tailgated? It's so weird. I don't even know what you would talk about in funerals. Hi, Gabby! Welcome in! Did you ever clear up the air with your father? No. We talked a few times, but no, not really. He sounded like a difficult man. He was stubborn. That's just it. Stubborn. Dang. Is there still more? February 28th. So two weeks in. Oh man. I used to search for shellfish at the beach until one day when I pulled a mu- Gabby, this is not- this is a crime for you to do this in my chat. So now you're not even doing it in my Discord calls. You're doing it in my chat. This is a crime. I'm about to ban puns. Oh man. All right, let's check out this freaking email. Gosh dang it, Gabby. Oh, there's less emails. Thanks to avoid saying at a funeral. Welcome back. Now we rarely do, I don't know that word, list a soul, list, uh, whatever. Uh, but for this month's new letter, we thought, uh, whatever would be best way to deliver this month's advice. 
what not to say at a funeral. We know figuring out the right thing to say to a grieving friend can be extremely difficult, and since that's such a personal is issue, it's hard to give specific advice. Some things will be more comforting to other people. But fortunately, we can deliver a bit more solid advice on what not to say to someone who is grieving. So here it is, Funerals Monthly's top five things to not say at a funeral. At least they're no longer suffering. This is true, nobody wants to hear it, it's probably not your place to dictate who wants to be told that the death of somebody they love is for the best. Like I said, even if it's true, don't be that jerk, just don't say it. Oh, okay. Were they saved? No religious statements. Just don't. Why? Because not everyone agrees with your religious views. Uh, not only it's not always- it's- wait, not only is it not always comforting, it can also be insulting. They're with the angels now. See above note, then rinse and repeat. Okay. Let me know how I can help. This one's tricky, you want to help, but those uh, in mourning won't ask, won't always ask for help. If you want to help, suggest specific things, for example, for if you need to baby someone to babysit the kids. Actions are better than passive statements. Cook something for them, take them to their favorite restaurant, or buy tickets to see a movie together. Okay. I know how you feel. Even if you think you do, everyone grieves differently. Don't focus this on yourself. Empathy doesn't involve having to commiserate. Sometimes people still want to hear your experiences, but don't assume they will. Ask first. For a quicker version of this list can be applied in any situation. Don't say stuff for the sake of saying stuff. Just say I'm sorry if you don't know what to say. I kind of get this, it, but it's also very situational. Like, all these can be situational, in my opinion. Because you have to know the person that you're with, right? You know the friend you're with, you know the family member, and you know what would be best for them. So to me, this is all situational. This is like, if you're like a stranger and you're talking to someone new, I think that's more for anything. Jen! Jen, uh, you hate mushrooms so much, I found the perfect thing for you. I've been thinking about death, I know, shocker. What? <laughs> look what you've done to me. I think I want this mushroom suit. No, it's not called that, but I can't remember the name of it. I'm writing you on my phone so I don't feel like googling it right now. Anyways, the idea is, it's a biodegradable suit that the deceased wears. It's made what people call a biomix, uh, mushrooms and other microorganisms that helps decompose bodies, neutralize toxins in the bodies, and provide nutrients for the soil and for plants. I think this one company even offers casket liners for use in green caskets. I think this is what I want. I'll just be like, it'll just be like Hannibal. Wait, don't people, don't tell people I said that, okay? But seriously, it's pretty cool. I love the death innovation happening. We might as well do something when we're in the ground, you know? Love you, think about it. Let me know your thoughts. I mean, being a mushroom sounds so weird. I want all your thoughts. If it's not this, then maybe I'll have my ashes made into jewelry. I like that idea, but seriously, I'm probably going to do this. There's no harm in planning ahead. I always love the ashes into jewelry. I really do. I think that's my favorite thing. Uh, thank you. Oh, gosh. Hi, I just want to thank you for the services the other month. I apologize if I was abrupt. It was kind of a shock for me. I didn't feel comfortable with the whole process. He wasn't supposed to die just yet. Aww. All right. All right, let's see this. Oh, we actually have a choice. Okay. Wait, what? Whoa, what happened? Okay. Good day, Miss Rose. Disregard our son's will as it concerns matters of his burial. He was clearly not thinking right. I didn't know what he and didn't know what he really wanted. Proceed with an open casket funeral. As for payment, we'll bring a check. No, no. Hold on. If the son wanted a way, the son wanted a certain way. Charlie, I was hoping you wouldn't have to confront this situation. Yet, yeah, anyways, they're never easy. Rosen Daughters has been asked to prepare the body of a young man who took his own life. He had a will prepared and asked for a cremation, but the family had demanded a traditional burial instead. Fortunately, he didn't ha make anyone his power of attorney or didn't have any witnesses sign, uh, sign his living will or his advance directive regarding these wishes. So his family is legally in the right to do whatever they want with his body. It's unfortunate, but we have to do it as family. Oh, if we have to do it, then there's no choice. Matthew was graciously offered to take this on if you're uncomfortable with the subject. Instead, we have a second body you can prepare for the funeral we're hosting late this afternoon. Charlie, is this suicide something you're comfortable with dealing with? Let me know here if you need me. Let's do it. Sadly, it freaking sucks because I, like... <sighs> family is just awful for that all right let's clean you up ma'am uh 
uh, deceased as for yep 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 all right i i want to try to do it without the freaking instructions i think i have to like clean him shave him if i'm right there we go yep we gotta shave get all those donut sprinkles off then we cut him no we massage 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 eye caps boink boink and then glue boink boink and then cotton balls in the mouth so there we go lotion there we go uh incision i just realized it goes in the order like boop 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 i just realized that it's so easy oh am i doing that wrong i'm connecting it no there we go massage That sucks though that they're disregarding like his wishes in general. That's not really fair in my opinion, but if we literally can't do anything about it, it's not in our hands anyways because we personally aren't should not be involved, but that's awful. Dang. Alright, how much more? How much Kool-Aid do you got in your body, dude? It's got all that expired Kool-Aid. Uh wink 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 wink. Let's get all that apple juice out, that Gatorade, and that monster energy drink. Sweet. All done. Yep. I wonder if we're gonna see anyone that's like, that knows that what the person wanted. I wonder. Hello? Ooh, a lot of people are upset on this one. I still can't believe he did it. I, I feel like I should have known. You know, been able to do something to stop it. There's no way to know. You can't blame yourself. You wouldn't have wanted that. I know, I know. It just hurts. Aww. Oh, man. This hurts a lot. Are these the parents? Hey, are you the buttholes? I heard it wasn't going to be an be open casket. The surprise is public. Usually funerals for these. These circumstances are more private. Public? Oh, like family only, maybe? I wish we were closer. Wow, I still can't believe this is real. My baby brother. Should have played more games with him when he asked. I. Oh, so you guys are the parents. Yeah, you guys are definitely the parents, and the dad's so upset. Dang. March 3rd! Holy cow. Oh, I know. We were in February 28th. I was like, I thought we were in December for some reason. Hello? Emails? Time for me to read. My poor throat's gonna be dead after this. Oh, wow, okay. Hold on. Uh, is this about- Oh my gosh. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna read this. I'm, it's gonna- this is gonna turn into a bot anyways. So, for the future, if you wanna read it, you know, just pause. I'll scroll through it. Because it's about another set of culture stuff. And we already read about some way to sort of respect culture. Um, okay. Jen, you're invited to death to attend Death Cafe. Can't wait, hold on, let me read the bottom one. Come increase awareness of death with a view of helping people make most of their finite lives. Join us, have a tea, cake, talk with others about our thoughts, fears, illuminations on death. Founder of the Death Cafe movement, John Underwood, once said, When people talk about death and dying, it tends to illustrate their humanity. Can't really write much now. Have a lot of work I have to do with an inguinal hernia from the 1750. It's the oldest in our collection, and you can't even see this bit of paper the surgeon put in after removing the hernia. Super cool. Send you a link when we have it cataloged. What is my life? <laughs> what is that sentence I just typed? That's hilarious. But anyway, this event that I'm forwarding you takes place near you. Figured you'd be into it. Might help with the feeling of restlessness you were talking about before. Could be good to talk about some of the things you were feeling. Lots of death positive people here. Sounds like it'll be a safe space. That's nice. What the hell? Can I just say- Wait, can I just say first off that this is bullcrap? Ugh, knowing how these corporations run. I wouldn't be surprised if they're monitoring our emails now. No, okay, I don't really believe that. I'm just upset. 
I get that Amy didn't have much of a choice. You can only fight a huge corporation taking all of your business for so long, and this isn't six feet under. And they just swooped in, and now we have to deal with their BS practices. They're colder and, than corpse. Or, than corpse. Wait, they're colder than the corpse I picked up from the morgue this morning. Who charges this much for funerals? It just feels dirty and exploitive. Let's grab a drink after work. I need to blow off some steam. Emails aren't really the most appropriate. Whoa, th how much are they charging? So they kept this. Oh no, they didn't. Mmm. Gold funeral. Large gathering. Dude, these are for giant freaking groups. We've never had that before. We can't even look at the prices for a quote. Oh, subject to additional fees, payment plans? That's ridiculous. Alright, let's see what he is. We're pleased to bring the Rosen Daughters to part of Hillside Heritage Enterprises, Inc. There will be another institution amongst hundreds of other properties owned across the country. But of course, as part of the adjustment process to the Hillside Heritage Enterprises, Inc. culture, there will be a number of changes that will come uh, to Rosen Daughters, and we will send out the memo regarding the specifics and details of these changes, and we expect them to be followed impeccably. Uh, glad to be leading the way of Rosen Daughters from now on. Ah, yep, there's all theirs. Managing Funeral Director, Hillside, yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr. Grant, for agreeing to take care of Jocelyn's cremation. The bike accident was, well, it was more than I was expecting. No, she wanted to be cremated, and to be honest, I don't think I could bear seeing her like that after what happened. Oh, Charlotte, below are the details for the next client. Ensure you follow the request specifications exactly. After you're done, I'll review your work in order to properly evaluate you at the end of the month. Oh, we have evaluations now? He's not, he's so cold. Okay. This guy sucks. I don't like him already. Hello. Is this Jocelyn? Uh, yeah. I got it. Oh, I got it. Easy. Easy, I say. It's not easy. There you go. Ah, oh, so now we're getting evaluated. That's so cold and, like, calculated more than anything. There we go. How different it's gonna look now is it th does it change at all how it looks oh no everything's the same more people I think should we do a vigil at the spot careless drivers swear to god okay she was always so careful wore her helmet signaled use the bike lanes a hole drivers they need to pay attention have you heard what's happening to the driver? No, I haven't wanted to ask Leah. But it's been hard enough on them without asking about the legal ramifications of all this. Yeah, after all this, let's see what we can do to help them. Shouldn't deal with the death of their partner all by themselves. Oh, that sucks. Let's pay our respects. So glad it was a cremation. I would have lost it seeing her body. I have to go through all of her things. How am I supposed to decide what to keep? If you need help, I can help. No, thanks, but I mean, but no, I don't know. It's so intimate. Feels like I should do it myself. She would kill me if others saw the things we have. <laughs> yeah. She was kind of a closed book, except to you. Yeah. She was special. Oh. <sighs> glad I'm here. Oh, wow. Just need a glass of wine and to binge watch something right now. I get that. Just try to distract yourself. March 24th. How much more? I, I did not expect this game to be that big, to, if I'm gonna be honest. I thought this game was like a lot shorter. Alright, how's it going? Oh boy. Uh, what's this about? Why do it? Uh. Oh, home funerals? Oh, like doing it at your house. Never thought about that. That could be interesting. But I'm not gonna read this outside. Or, outside. I'm not gonna read this right now. 
Home funeral sounds way more interesting. Uh, I just saw a video of a gorilla walking on its hind legs like a human being. Charlie, a human being. We as a species have seen the beginning of our end. <laughs> She's freaking hilarious, dude. All right, burial policy. Oh my gosh. What happened here? Hello, I stated in a previous email. Here are the new rules. Code of conduct. I expect you to follow from now on on any premises belonging to Hillside Heritage. First and foremost is a required uniform and a strict dress code from now on. Second, most importantly to this is that no tattoos are to be visible. If you have visible tattoos, ensure they're properly covered and hidden. Speaking with the customers and clients, consider the opportunity to upsell. We always, encur always encourage the deceased loved ones to purchase uh, the higher quality package. We find it encouraging to loved ones to think the comfortable and style the deceased as an experience with no price limit on it. This dude's a piece of actual trash. Additionally, food is no longer allowed to be brought in. Instead, encourage the deceased loved ones to pre purchase our premium sandwich and appetizer food package. Our partner catering concepts provide high quality food that will be delivered weekly from their factory. Can easily be defrosted. <laughs> this is awful. I expect all the above changes to be instituted effective immediately to ensure a smooth transition to the high quality services. Charlie, I need a drink. Beer after work. Uh, yeah, yes, I was. I really want mozzarella sticks. I can both be hungry and angry. No one, no, I will not say angry ever. They didn't change how this looks, but that sucks. You can't even bring food, and they were talking about home cooked foods. Hello, Charlotte. I reviewed your request on behalf of a potential family inquiring if we have, uh, if we at Hillside Heritage, Inc. can and will perform green burials. I should have informed you on this in the beginning, but we do not perform green funerals as they are not cost effective. All employees and subsidiaries of Hillside Heritage Enterprise Inc. must comply. We do not wish to lose potential customers, though, so do you try your hardest to convince the families requesting green burials instead to do a traditional burial package complete with embalming caskets and vaults instead. Mm, I trust you that you won't lose any- Ugh, this guy's a piece of actual garbage. Uh, I'm proud to announce that Hillside Heritage Enterprise received a contract with the city to dispose any of any unclaimed bodies. This is an important revenue stream for us, and as sure I'm as I'm sure I don't need to explain to you, Charlotte. Although Hillside Heritage Enterprises Inc. is being paid a decent wage from the city for these services, cremation is preferred here as it is the more cost efficient of the two options. The first unclaimed body we will be in handling belongs to a middle-aged man, possibly homeless, whose body has yet to be claimed. No special preparations are needed uh, for this cadaver aside from cremation. Alright. This guy actually is just a horrible human being. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. <sighs> uh, prepare his body. Doesn't seem to have any velvism. Could be damaged to cremation. So let's just worry about putting his identity. Okay. Oh, that's it. That sucks, it's also unclaimed bodies, too. Dang. Alright. What did I do? I should really check how long this game is. Alright. So let's get all the things. It's a very dull uh, vase, too, I just realized. Like, this guy, this company does not, and, I, and it's true, like, there are companies that, that don't care about the families or the whole part of the grieving process. They just care about the money that they can leak off of you, leech off of you. It's just awful. Are my tattoos covered? I knew I had tattoos. No one's here. That's so sad. That's, and that happens. Alright. At least, no. No no one was here. I was here. I was here and I gave them my support. Oh, we're cleaning up there now. Hello. Let's check our email. Alright, alright. What do you want? Oh, man. Uh. What? Okay, let's see. Uh, subscribers everywhere. Do not. Not, and not a drop of dr water, water ever, and not a drop of drink. Water cremation. Oh. Oh. And my game crashed. Not game crashed. What happened? Why is it doing that? Alright. 
Uh. Water cremation. Uh. That's very interesting. I would have never thought about that. All right. I kissed her. Dating a special effects makeup artist, and she is like the coolest person I've ever met in my life. She totally loves Ava's possession and was equally freaked out by the possession scenes, but so utterly delighted at the idea of a support group for people who have been possessed. That was your best recommendation in a while, Charlie. You were slipping there, and I, I was getting worried you had lost your taste. But yeah, her name is Lily. She is super death positive and isn't freaked out by my work and also isn't too into like the last dude I saw. Jason? Michael? God, I can't remember. Just really like spending time around her. Can't stop. I can talk about whatever I want. It's never a conversation stopper. She totally gets what I mean when I say that I like working with death and spending so much time thinking about death actually makes me happier. It makes everything else feel so much more worth it, you know? Memento Mori or whatever they taught us in that one poetry class we took. We just clicked. Fe uh, feels good fun and affirming like dating should be i'm thinking of taking her to maple meadows she's super into roller coasters and i think the idea of sharing cotton candy or maybe not i don't want to throw up on the rides is sickingly cute then maybe i'll kiss her on top of the ferris wheel and be super corny and cliche for once in my life anywho enough about me for now I'm still kind of in shock from your last email do you think you're going to do it you know you have my support 100 percent, no matter what you decide Ooh, are we thinking about quitting is that what we're thinking about Charlie, it's official. Put in my two weeks notice. You know how unhappy I am working for Mega Corporation 101. My skills, especially my driving ones, are useful in other professions. I'm not worried about myself. But you know, but you, you I'm worried about. You're too good for this corporate, corporate scum. You actually care about the people you work with and for. Don't let them defeat you, okay? Matthew. Aw, P.S. I'll bring beers over next week. We can talk about it more freely. Can we be with Matthew? He's so freaking cute. Um, hello all. Funeral home for my wife? Oh, not his wife. I was like, dang. Um, we are thrilled to announce that Hillside Heritage Enterprise Inc. subsidiary, oh my gosh, signed a contract with Morning Valley Hospital, allowing us to access to all the cadavers that come through their pediatric and maternity wards. We're excited for the opportunity to work with Morning Valley Hospital, which takes over 100,000 patients and receives over 15 million in funding and donations annually. There'll be no doubt a boon for Hill. Oh, cadaver? Dude, this guy does not care. Oh. Dear Mr. Grant, regarding the last time we spoke, my daughters, I would still prefer to host a home funeral for ourselves and keep my wife here until she's ready to be buried. I just want to make sure she's taken care of. Her heart attack was so sudden. I We don't know what to do. We just want to make sure she has the proper send-off. Thanks. Oh no, and then he just freaking slides in. That scummy little snake, dude. I understand your desire to keep your wife at home, but I assure you, the best way to honor your wife is through a traditional funeral package instead. I promise uh, you, your wife's funeral with us will be beautiful. An intimate gathering where all of her beloved friends and family can come together, say their goodbyes. Standard embalming will allow for everyone to view your wife, showing that everyone can see her one final time as she was. Beautiful, peaceful, and courageous. This dude. Letting us take care of the food with our prepared food services will ensure you don't have a single thing to worry about on this day. Oh, I hate him! Your You and your daughters are going through a hard time. Let us hear- Yeah. And why don't you give us your life savings too? Yeah, he takes it. Okay, we'll take the traditional. Mm -mm. Dude. Oh. Register. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Register a business? Oh, are we going to register our own funeral service? 11 permits. Oh, that's going to be really cool if we can do that. Oh, that would be so nice. Yes, let's do it. I see we're not able to convince the dick my... Okay, I did not mean this. The Dimka family to take the standard funeral. I had to contact them myself in order not to lose the sale. Please read the enclosed emails for this for a lesson on how to properly upsell. Ups. Don't want to see that we've lost any customers because of your refusal to upsell. That's part of your job. No, it's not. It's actually not. Oh. Oh, I don't like this man. I don't like him. He's evil. Evil. Greedy little monster. Greedy little bug. What a piece of scum. 
Alright. I got it, I got it. I know what to do. She this character's actually really pretty. Man, a heart attack. That's so scary. Alright, uh massage. 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 Uh eye eye. Glue glue. Uh mouth. Sewing. And then mis no lotion. Lotion. La 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 lotion. La 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 lotion. How do I do it again? There we go. I don't know why it takes such a freaking long time. See, like this noise reminds me of Mortuary Assistant. I'm still so tempted to play, but I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. Terrifying. Terrifying game. Alright, there you go. That would be cool. Are we actually going to end off like owning a business of some kind? Maybe we move to England? Or we hire the purse driver? Maybe. Tired of already, I'm already tired of working for this bozo. Alright, and then this. Oh, I didn't get it all out. Dang it! Oh, you can just like keep the tubes in them? Oh. Make them look like aliens. There we go. <sighs> they did not want this, dude. So freaking frustrating. This feels so impersonal. She would have hated this. Yeah, but I don't know. They must have had their reasons. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey. What did you think of the trailer I sent you? Oh, yeah. I heard that show is so good. I saw the video of the one kid actor doing karaoke. Yeah, she would have not wanted this, and they freaking... We ruined it for them. They never wanted this, dude. Eating frozen sandwiches? Do you think we did the right thing? I feel, not, I feel bad for not doing what mom asked for. I know, honey, but what that Chad guy said seemed right. We don't want to dishonor her memory by letting her rot. <laughs> yeah, I just want mom to know I loved her. Wish I hadn't yelled at her before. Shh, it's okay. She knew you loved her. Fights happen. Please don't be hard on yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to miss her. Me too. Oh, man! Ugh! Freaking sucks. Are we at least still providing, like, the mental, like, grieving process counselors? It's so cold in here. I think they have the air conditioning on too high. Yeah. Let's go on a walk later. It's really nice out. It'll be good to stretch my legs. Oh, man. I'm starving. Why do these things always make me so hungry? You're always hungry. Well, ain't that right? I'm freaking hungry right now, dude. August 30th. Man, it's almost been an entire year. <gasps> yeah! New! Let's go! Oh my gosh, yeah! Okay, 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 congratulations! Charlie, dear, I'm so proud of you. I knew there was something special when I hired you for Rose and Daughters. If there's anything I can help... Wait, hold on, Magnolia Forest. <gasps> Is this our place? Home funeral, $1,000 all-inclusive, green burials! Oh, and direct cremation. Infants are- oh gosh. We provide a 3x3 three plot. Um, we believe in being transparent about our pri pri prices and practices. We are happy to explain all of our prices, work within your budget, and hope we can make you feel comfortable and confident in your decisions. Let us know if we have- if we have any- Oh, Natural burial park. That's great! Oh, I love this! I'm always happy to help. You'll never believe what new job I'm working now. <laughs> hey, hey, Charlie, when I first became a hearse driver, I was told that my most important job wasn't searing, it was sympathizing. I respectfully disagree, and thankfully, I concentrated on my driving skills, since now I'm working on wor working as a, wait for it, bus driver. A school bus driver, Charlie, can you believe that? Pretty sure if I said the most important part of my job wasn't steering, I'd be fired immediately. I didn't know how else to tell you. For some reason, I was worried you'd think less of me, but I don't know why. You've never been the judgmental kind. And besides, corpses are way easier to deal with than children. Screaming children, might I add. I actually love it. These kids can be pretty cute, but don't tell Amy 
that I told you that. She's always harping on me for not having any kids and for call for uh, and for being all cynical about them. <laughs> Grats on your new business, Charlie. I'm proud of you. I'll swing by your new place one day and show you my new wheels. Maybe we can grab a bite to eat. Oh, I love that. Congratulations on your new business. Charlie, I'm so happy for you. I know it's been a rough year for you. Seriously, I think our wine intake saw a bazillion percent increase, but you stuck through it all like a champ. You deserve this. Finally being your own boss is a great move for you. No more having to explain anything you don't want to. I'm trying to not to be too cheesy right now. Can't wait to be home next week for our visit. Yay! And to check out your new space. Always, Jen. P.S. Have you heard about these green burial pods? When I find the link in my one million tabs, I'll shoot it over to you. Today is the day already, isn't it? Can't believe how quickly uh, this has come up. Thank you for understanding and for your work. You've made today easier already. See you at 1 p.m. Yay! Oh, this is so good. So what do we do? Oh, and our tattoos are showing again. <gasps> oh. Is this, this is good. We're doing an open burial. No, oh, but like a green burial. This hurts. I thought it'd be easier, but it's not. It hurts so much. But I want to thank you for helping me give her the funeral she always wanted. Oh, good. Anyway, I think we're getting, we're ready to get started now. That was really fun. That was good. It taught me a lot. I hope it taught a lot of people who were watching a lot. Mortician's Tale. That taught every. That taught. I, I learned a lot of different things from that. And that was great. That was a really, really, really good game. I had it on my thing for a while. I just didn't know like when to freaking um play it. And honestly, I think I might end it here. I know it's only three hours, but I think uh. I think this is a great way to end it. This was, this actually is a great positive note. Oh, pets, Meredith, Bastion, B, Future, Luna, Tyler. <laughs> they named one of their pets Tyler. Made using Unity. Unity is such a good uh, developer. Well, not anymore with their stupid rules. Made possible from Ontario Arts Council. Oh, that's cool. Memory of Elaine Dur Durango? Camille Anglim Angleman and Camille Colodej. Thank you for playing. Oh, thank you for making the game, dude. I feel like we rarely say thank you for making the game, but you know. Oh, that was a great game. Alright, but yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. I want to thank everyone who came in, said hi, and supported me tonight. Uh, I don't know if I'll be on tomorrow. Definitely be on Monday. And yeah, thank you truly for being here. Thank you for all the support. Appreciate it. Hope everyone had a great time tonight. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a